nothing to report. No, Stay safe out there, everyone. Think you're clever? There we go. Nice work. I've seen scribes take longer than that back in terminal. Shit! Lost him! Time's up!
No way I could pick this. Don't think I can pick this. Point, I shoot. Grab that. Nope. Grab anything useful. I'm on it. Check it out. Affirmative. See if there's anything there. Up. Go ahead. Lock's really strong. Wait there. Roger. Holding position. Moving out. Got it. All right. Hopefully there's something useful here. Found an ammunition drop. That song was, it was, uh, Hold On, it was by Three Sons, and, uh, uh oh, never mind. So the... Heads up. Man, Be glad to share the burden. Doing things in the Commonwealth. What kind of things, you ask? Well, I will. I will tell you, I have heard that they, uh, that they have taken over the Rock castle, tight. which I guess was a long time ago, but it's been a while. It had been full of fish, or monsters, or monster fish, maybe, I don't know, I, that, not relevant. The Minutemen are there now, that's good for them. And I guess for everyone else too. So, yeah. How about how about some music? Do you do you know someone who gambles? Then maybe this will make you laugh. Or. Feel like trading some equipment? Anything I can lug for you? Carry something to cripple yourself. Since we talked, I'm feeling swell. 
Look at this here in Sanctuary. Prepared for the future. Now that's what I call locked and loaded. Sure, everyone kills out their form. I was supposed to win a pack of steak knives. Hey, Valentine. Time to hit the road? Let's head out. Well, all right. I can't believe you're replacing me with this... thing. Believe it, bucko. Now, isn't there someone else you should be irritating? I've been told the Valentine detective is Look at you. Two centuries, and your skin's as smooth as a baby. Look alive.
Won't be able to pick this. Go ahead. Won't be able to pick this. Take anything good. That was the get five that. stars. All, oh, all oh, five of them. <laughs> get it? Lock tight. Because over here. Uh, John uh, and uh, I don't think I can pick this. No. No. Okay. Lock's uh, really strong. You're listening to uh the Diamond City Radio. If take a man if smarter listening. than me to tell you what all this did. This next song is called Easy. No way Living. I could pick this. Remember? Hey, toss anything you can't haul my way. Oh, hell no! I don't think we're then. Getting tired yet? Did good. Edward's men seem to have given a good account of themselves, but not good enough, sadly. We need to get to my office. From there, we can see how bad things really are. Okay, stick close, follow my orders, and I'm sure everything will be fine. Let's go. That is going to stain. Not sure they're taking new ward. But for us, uh, they might make an exception. The door's blocked from the other Can't side. Can't open it somewhere. from this end. We'll have to find a way around. Can't pick this. I can't believe this would be worth the trouble. Look at this place. Nothing but dust and... You are so dead! That's it.
won't be able to pick this. Someone's coming. I'll be all right. You okay? Don't worry about me. Hell yeah. No way to hack this. <clears throat> Edward! How badly are you hurt? I just need to rest here a minute. I'm not dead yet, but I don't Someone think I made can a get up. Mess you kept them from using the elevator? Yeah. I... I sent the elevator down to the basement, like you wanted, and shut it down. Good. Shot quite a few of them before they decided to leave me alone in here. <sighs> Haven't seen anybody for quite a while, I think. It's hard to keep track of time. Are you sure you can't get up? I could really use your help. Yeah, Jack. I'm pretty damn sure. Well, then don't worry about it. Me and your friend here will have to take care of things ourselves. They've definitely reached the basement. Although I don't understand how they knew how to get past it. It doesn't matter now. We'll have to go through the abandoned part of the building. It looks like the Abremelin field is still functioning. Although several of the security doors in the basement have already been breached. We'd better hurry if we want to stop them. They seem determined to reach Lorenzo for some reason. Got it. Let's go. Don't Just worry. Follow about my me. instructions, and everything will be fine. Be careful, Jack. You too. What the fuck was that? Hey, no, my prophet! You are the <laughs> Don't worry about me. You okay? I just need to rest here a minute. <clears throat> Someone made a I hope Edward is all right.
This doesn't look good. Edward! How badly are you hurt? I'm not dead yet, but I don't think I can get up. You kept them from using the elevator? Yeah. I... I sent the elevator down to the basement, like you wanted, and shut it down. Good. Shot quite a few of them before they decided to leave me alone in here. Hey, uh, what do you I need? I haven't seen anybody for quite a while. Your thoughts? I Too many think. folks these days count on violence Sorry, to solve their problems. Are you sure you're you only have to look around to see where that help. got us. Yeah, Jack. I'm pretty That's all for sure. now. Shoot yourself. Well, then don't worry about it. Me and your friend here will have to take care of things ourselves. Perfect. They've definitely reached the basement. Although I don't understand how they knew how to get past... It doesn't matter now. We'll have to go through the abandoned part of the building. It looks like the Abremelin field is still functioning. Although several of the security doors in the basement have already been breached. We'd better hurry if we want to stop them. They seem determined to reach Lorenzo for some reason. Got it. Let's go. I'll be Just follow right. my instructions and everything will be fine. Be careful, Jack. You what the? That's a motherfucker. This is my problem. You are trespassing. No! I've done this hundreds of times. Think you'll be any different? That's the chill. Let's hope we can find a way through. Got it. it was on the bottom floor. Come on. You just heard crawl out Who? through the fallout. Mercer is up next. I, I don't, I mean, I don't think this song is all that great. Coast looks clear. Play games with me, huh?
I question the real boundaries like this. Fight back. More of them? <coughs> okay, I'll give you that one. Good, good. Should've just run! It's an option. Good. The old utility elevator is still working. Going down. Kill everyone you see. Don't hesitate. We can't let them release Lorenzo. Only opens with a key. All those assholes upstairs and they still can't stop these clowns from barging in here? Gotta find the password. Damn you, get that door open. Breaking out of them. We need to get in there and stop them. Hello, Jack. It's been a long time since I've had the pleasure of a personal visit. Father, I will stop this. My powers have grown, Jack. The artifact still has so much to teach me. Once I am free, I will be happy to teach you too. You know I can't let you out until I can remove the artifact. Let me see. Lucifer's balls. They've locked down all the security doors. I'll have to open them one by one from here while you work your way down the hallway. Quickly now! That's right. You need to shut down the containment field in order to open the door. Shit, they're breaking through the security doors! Hurry, see it up! I'm You've opening the main door! Got it. Hurry! The Abramalus field is down! Apparently, even the simplest tasks are beyond our capabilities. Something else. That's it. I can feel my strength returning. Now, I will finally be free! Ain't nothing! I'll tear you limb from chance. limb! I just need a moment to enter the... <coughs> okay. Give me that. Hurry! It won't be long before nothing can hold me. <coughs> some time for him to regain his powers. We still have a chance to stop him. You fool! Ah, long last.
wouldn't want it going to waste now, would we? Won't be long before nothing can hold you. Just run. You can still stop. <laughs> Take some time for him to regain his powers. We still have a chance to stop him. Don't listen to my son. He's the crazy one. You know this. Look at what he's done to me. I built a failsafe into the containment grid, switched the four of Remelin generators to manual override, and I can flood his cell with a lethal dose of Zeta radiation. Do the right thing. Open this door and let me out. Do not listen to him. This is what he does. Surely you can see that! Everything my son has told you about me is a self-serving lie. That must be obvious now. That's it! Don't worry. This ain't radiation won't harm you. I'm sorry, Father. I did everything I could to avoid this. I believe I was close to finding a way to remove the art. Liar! upon me here forever if you'd had your way, puny worm. <laughs> Do you truly think you have the power to destroy me? <laughs> Good Goodbye, Father. some time for him to regain his powers. We still have a chance to stop him. Fool! Ah, at long last, you did... Hey there. Don't do this. Too late, Jack. Why don't you wait there so that we can have that little chat that's so long overdue? Get away while you can! It seems Jack doesn't want to talk to his father. We'll have to kill him, you know. And all the rest of them. I never agreed to kill anybody. Why else would you have opened that door? There's only one way forward now. But don't worry. You will be rewarded. What Jack has taken from me, I will bestow upon you freely. The gift of immortality. But first I have some unfinished business to deal with. With your help, I trust. Meet me at Cabot House. I'm sure that's where the rats will congregate. Let's go!
Dominoes. Not just Billy. They were there too. Hey, so you sure uh, we're not going to need news that? That uh, might it might interest you. Uh, if not, hang on a minute, and I'll go back to the music that we usually play. Who's there? Have you lost your mind? Why did you release Lorenzo? If you hadn't uh, heard, I mean, I guess most people know this, but maybe someone... I wasn't sure who was that, telling uh, the truth, you or him. And now he's Where coming here to kill all of us. Are you satisfied? This is my fault. Uh, gunners. I hired this idiot, and he betrayed you. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't just kill you right now. If I wanted to kill you, you'd be dead already. It proves nothing. You could be here spying for Lorenzo. And there's, uh... Ah, you're all here. I don't even know if this is true or not, but... How, how did you get in this more museum so than home. Maybe, this is my house, maybe after all. The Institute. I like what you've done with the place. But that's Lorenzo. just what I heard. Thank God you I don't know if that's finally true or not. escaped. Jack just finally. wouldn't listen. Oh, no. You know I would never... Uh, you have all betrayed me. Segway. Kiss and fed off uh, me back like to the music. vampires to prolong your pathetic, worthless Here's lives. The, uh, uh, that is now the over. Ink spots. Your time is up. Please get out of here. It's not the case. It was just. Made us again. Hey, do something for you? Hey, here's what I've got. Excuse me. Well, that's done. Thank you for your assistance. They had it coming. I can see you understand the deep satisfaction of revenge long delayed. Now that I've taken care of that bit of old business, I can see that I have a lot to learn. Things have changed while I've been locked away. This new world seems to be one of limitless possibilities for people of our talents and... Inclinations. I can see that we're gonna get along just fine. Oh, I knew that from the first moment I saw you in that cell. I knew you would understand why freeing me was the right thing to do. But first, one last piece of unfinished business. I promised to share my blood with you. And I always keep my promises. Here is your reward. I will provide you with a lifetime supply, as needed. But remember, this is my gift to you. I will give you another vial when you need it, for your own use only. Do not sell it, or throw it away. After business, pleasure. Help yourself to a drink if you like. Jack seems to have done very well for himself, despite everything. Like painting a huge sign on their front door. Rob me.
You need protection. Every Let's see what you have. Self-defense at its best. Hanging out with Valentine, huh? Good for you. Nikki's good. For you. Myrna. And they sell just about everything, but none of it is scrap. Let's see what you have. Here's what we got. One. Every piece in here is worth what I charge for it. No arguments. Just browsing for now. <laughs> of course. Hey, Myrna. Oh, no. You're not allowed to shop here. No sense. Good to see you, too, Myrna. And I'm not the one shopping here. My friend is. Fine. As long as the synth doesn't touch anything, we can do business. Sure. Let's take a look. Here's what we got. Ray Smith, everybody. Ray. <laughs> that's being built out there in the Commonwealth. No one that's mentioned it, but they don't know what it does. Not for sure. But this next part, well, I mean, it's, it's, it's just people talking, you know? It doesn't make a it truth. Not necessarily. But it's been said. If 
uh, if I were you, I saw this thing. You know, I'd, I'd run the other way. And, uh, this is, uh, maybe it's just you by Magnolia, you know, from, uh, from Good Neighbor. into a library? What's with a sudden sign?
going up. Surface. Yes, ma'am. Oh, such a gentleman, too. I simply must give you something. Here, you can have some of our produce. I'll ask Greeny to give you a discount, too, if there's anything else you need. Now, I simply must get back to work. Ta-ta! I just want to trade a few things. Mr. Abernathy? I'm glad you're here. We've been having some trouble with raiders. Tell me what's going on. They showed up in force a few days ago. There were too many of them. We had to give them what they wanted. They said as long as we kept paying them tribute, they'd leave us alone. At least we know where they're hiding out. Here, I'll mark it on your map. Don't worry. I'll take care of those raiders for you. Thanks. It'll be a relief not to have to worry about them. I hope you're here to help. That's right. What's the trouble here? Some raiders have been threatening us if we didn't give them supplies. Uh, we told them to take a the flying leap. <laughs> now that we had the Minutemen backing us up, the but they didn't seem what too impressed. Well, Said they'd be back with their friends to make an example out of us. You. We're not I've soldiers. We're hoping you can help us to set up some defenses before it's too late. Which I guess was there a long time ago, but it hasn't been for a while. It had been full of fish? Or monsters? Or monster fish? Maybe? I don't know. I, that, not relevant. The Minutemen are there now. That's good for them. And I guess for everyone else, too. So... Yeah. How about... How about some music? Here comes Bing Crosby saying we should accentuate the positive. I guess that was easy if you were Bing Crosby. <laughs>
got it. Heads up. No. You got time to talk now? Is something the matter? You sound upset. What? Oh, no, no. We've just been traveling a while now, and I figure there hasn't exactly been equitable distribution of information. I've gotten a decent glimpse into your dirty laundry, but you still don't really know a whole heck of a lot about me. I uh, figured I'd offer to balance the board. So, is there anything you want to know? What do you remember about the Institute? It's all pretty hazy from back then, but now and then I get glimpses. Life inside the Institute, they keep you isolated. A single test chamber was my whole world for years, and someone was always watching. Then one day you wake up on the other side, and that's it. They've cut you loose. Welcome to the brave new world, with such people in it. So, so who are you, Nick? That's a question I've been trying to figure out myself for a long damn time. I know I'm a synth, authentic institute handiwork, but I'm still mechanical, not bioengineered like the fancy synths giving everyone the willies these days. I get tune-ups now instead of checkups. But my memories, my personality, they're all lifted from some cop who volunteered for an experiment back before the war. They scanned his brain and copied it onto the hardware that runs between my ears. Don't know why they chose to make a robot based on some pre-war cop instead of a math genius or a bioengineer. Hey, maybe that's why the Institute tossed me in the garbage instead of turning me into one of their people snatchers. That's terrible. They really just threw you away? Sure did. It was quite the rude awakening. I remember waking up one day in a garbage heap, a body in tatters and a head full of memories belonging to a man who'd been dead for 200 years. Suffice to say, it was a confusing couple of weeks. Folks didn't really know much about synths back then, so when I finally ran into people, they mostly treated me with caution rather than hostility. But the kids, <laughs> they weren't afraid. I think his name was Jim. The first person to actually speak to me after I got the boot from the Institute. My first human contact in this world. Grilled me for an hour. <laughs> Once they'd seen I wasn't going to hurt anyone, the other folks in the neighborhood came out to ogle the mechanical man. It eventually turned into a pretty swell soiree. A local mechanic even gave me a once-over, free of charge. Those people, they, they treated me like a human being. I've been trying to return the favor ever since. It's a surprisingly rare trait out here sometimes. It's something I've noticed you got a fondness for. Part of the reason I've stuck around this long. If you're good to people, they'll be good back. That's something I've always believed. Couldn't agree more. Well, I expect you're about as bored as can be listening to me rattle my skeletons. We should probably head out. We did it! I was afraid we were making a mistake trying to stand up to those bastards. But the Minutemen came through for us. Yes, 
when I thought we were getting along. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that last song. <laughs> Nothing there now. Okay. Hey! There you are, you little bastard! <laughs> How, uh, how about a bit of good news? If you, you know, haven't already seen him, which I did, so I know it's true and not just something I overheard. Uh, I mean, uh, Nick Valentine is back in town. He was gone for a while, and some people who are totally not me thought that... Well, they, th they thought... He might be dead. Or destroyed, or whatever. Anyway. Uh, glad you're back, Nick. Even though we never really talk. Like, ever. This next song is called Easy Living. Remember? Hey! You still there? Hello. Heads up. There's something you need? Think you can unlock that terminal? Can't be done. Clever. But I bet you forgot to turn it off somewhere. Somebody went to a lot of effort to keep folks out of here. End of the line. Think you can hide? Not exactly. <laughs> <laughs> ah! now. that it's an option. They must want to protect something awful precious. They're here somewhere. Ah, my leg! Ah! Last one.
Blake. So can we stop worrying about paying tribute to those raiders? They won't be bothering you again. Thanks. It's good Blake to know we can count on you guys us. when we're in trouble. For Mary. I know it's... I taught those raiders a lesson. They won't be attacking another settlement again. That's good. I hope I live to see the day when people aren't always worried about the next raider attack. You know what I'm gonna say next. Another trouble spot. Our scouts have found a promising spot for a new settlement. Once you clear it out, before you... Remember that settlement that was asking for help? All safe and sound again. Good. This is how we're gonna take back the Commonwealth. One small victory at a time. But our work is never done. It's what we signed up for. Maybe you can find out. made us again. So the, the Minutemen are out there. 
doing things in the Commonwealth. What kind of things, you ask? Well, I that's will, it. I will tell you. I have heard that they, huh, that they have taken over the castle, which I guess was there a long time ago, but it hasn't been for a while. It had been full of fish or monsters or monster fish. Maybe. I don't know. I didn't read that. Not relevant. The men are better there now. That's good. Now, Intruder. I guess Identify yourself. For everyone else too. So. I don't think we're alone. Yeah. How about? How about? It's about <laughs> uh, space travel. <laughs> Here's Rocket 69. Yes. My duty shift was long, but I'm... How's the tech recovery going? Find it yet? Here it is. Good. I was hoping you'd bring it back safely. Here, I'll always want more tech, so believe me, I'll never run short of missions. Once you're ready, come find me. Affirmative. That's what I like to hear. Areas on your map. Good luck. Can't talk right now. Gotta clean the Mirelurk scat off my boots. Oh man, if I'm late for Excuse muster me. one more About time. You showed your face. I take it that area's clear. Affirmative. Keep it up, and I may start believing you got some real guts. Here, as long as the Brotherhood's around, those abominations don't stand a chance. Once you've prepped for your next mission, come find me. I'm ready. Good answer. Details are on your map. Report back when the area's clear.
to find something in here. You know what? Since we talked, I'm feeling swell. Look at the two of us here in Sanctuary. Prepare for the future. Hey, at least it's honest work. Don't eye the Brahmin if you got any sense. Davis, a name I still find confusing. I've got some, uh, news. Well, more of a rumor, really. But that's kind of like news, like without the commitment. Anyway, it's about a vault here in the Commonwealth. So there's that vault. It's, uh, number 81. And it stays pretty much closed all the time, right? Well, the rumor that I have heard, what's going around, I mean, uh, huh, people are saying there was some kind of, uh, disease outbreak. I don't, uh, I don't really know how, uh, serious it is, whatever, but, uh, you might want to think about The vault. <laughs> Avoiding the vault. Only so much avoid diseases, right? But I mean, the vault is right there.
things are... Well, they're, uh... They're better now. Yeah. The five stars are up next, singing about a lady. Uh, I guess maybe one of them like her. I mean, it couldn't have been all of them. That would... Well, that, that, I mean, that would just create workplace tension. Here's the five stars. Browsing for now. Uh huh. We're having a sale on brooms. Uh huh. Let's see what you got. Anything and it. Diamond City Surplus is where you can sell all those scraps you've scattered. Where it is? Something bad went down on the old museum of witchcraft up near Salem. Why would anyone even go there? It's been abandoned forever. Officer? Probably nothing, but some guy came into town said he picked up a weird distress call in the Cambridge ruins. What? You got a staring problem? Please tell me you don't want anything to drink. Please. There a problem? No problem at all. My programming dictates that I serve all customers in the colonial tap house. Even those that obviously don't belong. Just know that my sensors indicate that you have dangerously low levels of class for this establishment. Not interested. Glad to see you know your place. Are you there then? Don't be late. Yeah, yeah, I'll be there. I just have to close up. We need to talk. Jesus, Paul. What now? It's time for you to shut up and listen, Cook. What the hell is this? And what are you doing here? Don't tell me he's hired you to help lean on me. I'm not with him. Just looking for a drink. What? Well, thanks for nothing. 
Should have known better than to trust you. Good answer. Well, I'm listening, Paul. What do you have to say this time? Just this. You leave Darcy alone, starting now, or else. Now that is a very bad idea. You don't want to pull a gun on me unless you intend to use it. But you think I won't use it? Huh? Do I just need to kill you? Is that what you're saying? Think about what you're Too doing. Late. Damn fool! Oh shit, look out! Mother pus bucket! Oh. <laughs> Come on, cook! That takes care of that. Oh, what a mess. Too bad you got yourself mixed up in all of this. Don't get me wrong. I don't blame you for... I'll meet you there then. Don't be late. Yeah, yeah, I'll be there. I just have to close up. We need to talk. Jesus, Paul. What now? It's time for you to shut up and listen, Cook. What the hell is this? And what are you doing here? Don't tell me he's hired you to help lean on me. Paul just asked me to come with him. Is that how it is? Okay. Well, I'm listening, Paul. What do you have to say this time? Just this. You leave Darcy alone, starting now, or else. Now that is a very bad idea. You don't want to pull a gun on me unless you intend to use it. But you think I won't use it? Huh? Do I just need to kill you? Is that what you're saying? Shot here. Listen to reason, Paul. No, screw that. This is going to be <laughs> fun. God damn it. Start uh, over? Uh, hey, toss anything you can't haul my way. Holy shit. Hey, Paul. Hell, I gotta get out of here. You should too, before someone walks in here and pins this on us. So it's true, then. You're leaving the Minutemen. Good for you. Great cause. Fuck out of here if you know what's good for you. Cook sent me. He has a message for you. Cook told you about this? Where the hell is Cook anyway? What is this, Nelson? Cook couldn't make it, so he sent me instead. The fuck he did? Trish, kill this asshole!
don't have to kill me. I won't talk. I swear. Give me a reason not to kill you. I'll tell Moroski it was Gunners, okay? You can trust me. And uh, uh, I'll give up Moroski's Kim lab. This here? <laughs> this is nothing compared to what he's got stashed there. Keep talking. Where do you think these Kims come from? We've got a lab. Right here in the Commonwealth. But you'll never find it on your own. Not without my help. Tell me what you know first. You're just gonna kill me anyway. Right. Oh. That's one way to get that cool and pumping. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. That last song? <laughs> okay! I've got some, uh, news. Well, more of a rumor, really. That vault, uh, number 81, and it's basically closed all the time, right? Well, the rumor that, uh, uh, huh. people are saying there was some kind of, uh, he's out there. I don't, uh, I don't really know how, uh, serious it is, or whatever, but, uh, you might want to think about it. Vault, I mean. Avoiding the vault. Only so much you can do. The vault, right there. Things are. Well, they're, uh. They're better now. Yeah. Here's Uranium Rock. A song about people getting rich by finding uranium. <laughs> that, uh, that worked out real well for all of us. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking.
aroma is that? Got it. Power up. Protectron on duty. Whatever they're aging in here, I think it's gone too long. that 
whatever they're aging in here, I think it's gone too long. Something is rotten in here. To each life, uh, I think that was that was Ella Fitzgerald confirming that thought. So, um, <clears throat> this radio station here, we we don't really make any gaps, and uh, there are uh, well, some people help me stay in the air, people like uh. The Colonial Tap House wants to remind everyone that you are not welcome there. Whatever they're aging. Upper stands residents only. Here is the, uh, ah, it's, it's the ink spots. Something is rotten in here.
you just heard uh, Billy Holiday. Lucky you. Hey, uh, have you seen the, uh, well, hey, well do there's this article for you? in uh, the newspaper, Public Occurrences. Boy, I mean, uh, it's, well, it's, it's, it's something. I mean, I, uh, I'm not saying anyone is a saint, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying it's uh, correct at all. And, you know, of course, the mayor, I mean, I mean, I, uh, I, 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 I have a statement from the office. I can barely tell us. You know, about. it's uh well, I mean it just it just says here there's uh nothing to worry about that it's you know safe and all, everybody. Kind of it's crazy stuff, right? I mean weird. Anyway, it's uh well it's something to think about, I guess. Uh, oh, well, it's a fun one. Uh, feel free to uh, rock out or whatever it is people do nowadays.
You want to spiff up your power armor? You've come to the right place. The Atom Cats have the most far out mods this side of the apocalypse. What is this place? The Atom Cats garage, dummy. It's a haven for cats too cool to live anywhere else in the Commonwealth. We got a thing for custom power armor jobs. Because what's cooler than power armor? Nothing, that's what. Oh, uh, sorry. That was Bob Crosby. Let me think it over. Coming to you from, uh, the jeweled green, I mean, the green, uh, <laughs> I mean, the, uh, the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. It's Diamond City Radio. Now, uh, hey, check out the chassis on here. Let's play. Whoa, let's play. Worry, four worry, plates worry, have got me Reese. correct. The name's Zeke. Plates? Power, armor. I like a cat who digs what I dig, and the Adam cats dig power armor. I'm hip. Hey, that's more like a Jack. We wear our power armor with style. Not like some other deadheads around. So what's your tale, Nightingale? You want a ticket to Fat City? Sure. <laughs> now we're cooking. If you think you got the chops to be an Atom Cat, <laughs> you gotta be able to stretch your stuff. Check with my girl Rowdy. She'll have something for you to get your bread hooks on. That's a smoking suit you got there. I can rest easy knowing that Wolfgang is rotten in hell. Thank you. Do you need anything? You got things covered from here? Yeah. It's gonna take my son a while to get off the chems, but we'll make it. We always do. Now, let's get back to business. You need anything for the road? Sure. Let's take a look. A little bit of everything. Since we talked, I'm feeling swell. 
Look at the two of us here in Sanctuary. Prepared for the future. That's Don't let all that horsepower go to your head. Locked and loaded. Call me old fashioned, but there's nothing better than these boots on the ground. They didn't tell me much. Oh, tell Just to make sure everyone pulls out their form. I was supposed to be a fashion pick now. Do I look like I want to chit chat? I told you Sanctuary would grow. The sight never lies. Broadcasting across the Commonwealth. Just got a message. Finch Farm is asking for help. Any Minutemen in the area, please respond. something that happened in the Commonwealth that I have overheard from two people who I do not believe were drunk. There was that old uh, asylum parson, right? Abandoned. 
Like, totally. So I guess, I mean, something must have happened, right? And it must Come have been... on! Let's come on! But maybe we'll never know. Out there! Anyway... Human, you'll die well. Magnificent part! A rescuer. You are the first to actually make it to the cage. I think the super mutants kill what? and <clears throat> Who's the there? others. You would better to die Good. fighting brothers than fighting humans! <laughs> So that whole milk of human kindness thing, that's from Macbeth. I thought I could civilize these savages by teaching to them. Strong here believes it is the secret to human power. So he wants us to help him find it. I shall uplift our spirits by quoting from the bard. Good night. Mm. Good night. Parting is such sweet sorrow. Our way, doubts are true. Right. Make us lose the good we ought might win by fearing to attempt. So on, so young. They say do never live long. Hell is empty and all the devils are here. Let me embrace this sour adversity, for wise men say it is the wisest course. Cowards die many times before their deaths. The valiant never taste of death once. That sound, what is it?
Rex. <clears throat> Many thanks for that timely rescue. You're welcome. As gracious as you are brave. Yes, well, <clears throat> in any event, I'm quite grateful. I'd like you to have this. Now, if you'll excuse me, I think it's time I left this awful place. I'm returning to WRVR and resuming my career in radio. Strong hope we find milk of... Go find milk of human kindness with Strong. Yes, I'll honor my promise. Good. Strong travel with human. Human helps Strong find milk of human kindness. Strong learn secret of humans. Hey, big guy. Don't eat this one, all right? Robo man, not tell Strong what to do. So. Someday. Yeah? The only way you get old in this job is assume everyone's out to kill you. Strong, you dead! 
Moving on, huh? Protect and serve. Tex Benneke, folks.
So here's something that happened in the common Got world it. that I have Stop overheard Italy. from two people Smart. who I do not believe were drunk. There was that old uh, asylum, parsonage, right? And it was creepy. And everyone knew to uh, stay away from it. Well, I guess. I mean, this is the part that I heard, and I thought it was weird. Raiders attacked the place. I don't. I. I, I don't know why. But okay, 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 okay. Blah, 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 blah. The weird part. So now, Parson is uh, It's abandoned. Like totally. <laughs> So I guess, I mean, something must have happened, right? And it must have been pretty serious. <laughs> but maybe for all that. Anyway, weird, right? <laughs> news. Yep, that's, uh, that's the news. Back to the, uh, ha. Back to the music. This next song is called Easy Living. Remember? Show yourself time to die! This has been a pre-recorded message. Message repeats in three seconds.
This is an emergency broadcast. Good place for fighting. Good place to fight. Single brother. Got it. Scared, huh? You should be. Shit's got ambush all over. Detective Valentine. Yeah. Listen, I'm sorry. You've got every right to be upset. You need to believe me when I tell you I had no idea. Operation Winter's End was my baby. I believe. It. I still believe in it. They kept us all in the dark, me included. I got briefed this afternoon. They laid it all up. The whole thing. We just deal with the DA, his agreement. Let's play, little human.
you enjoyed that last song. No one can be strong! Humans should fight with strong boys! Gonna be a good fight! Maybe everyone else already knows. The, uh, Brotherhood continues to do... stuff? Come along. They were last seen, uh, attacking Fort Strong. Strong is winner. Super mutants. So that's fun. I guess maybe they're uh, gonna take over. I guess uh, that's an improvement, right? Brotherhood instead of you know. Mutants. No. That's, uh, that was a joke. Really. Didn't really mean it. And if the Brotherhood is listening. I'm sure you're very nice. Here is the, uh, ah, oh, it's, it's the ink spots. Something. Uh, nothing. Uh, what's that? Go away, Bullrush! 
Run away like cowards, afraid of straw. Hey. What? Go check that out. Not do that. Sorry. Son of a bitch, Sergeant Riser come. That was a uh, uranium fever by, oh man, uh, by uh, by Elton Britt. <laughs> yes, right. It says so. Right there. Hey, so uh, there's this bit of news that uh, might it might interest you. Uh, if not, hang on a minute, and I'll go back to the music that we usually play. If you hadn't uh, heard, I mean, I guess most people know this, but maybe someone didn't, that uh, the Green Tech building was where those mercenaries lived? Uh, the Gunners! Gunners! That's it. That was like their base, sort of. Only now, they're pretty much all dead. Those guys were tough, so, I mean, I guess whoever killed them had to be even tougher, right? And there's, uh... I don't even know if this is true or not, but there's this rumor that maybe, maybe the Institute. That's just what I heard. I don't know if that's true. song about it, and I'm not just talking about it, I intend to play it. So, here it is.
Someone's gonna splatter your brains! What that? Believe human junk is useless. Mistake. Strong fight! Strong smash!
Stupid noises. Got it. Stinks like humans here. You got a friend. You know. Got some great stuff, if you're interested. Sure. Let's take a look. Feel free to test the grips. enjoyed that last song. Okay. So, uh, there's this thing I heard about. Uh, I'm not even really sure what to say. There, there are stories about... Well, it's some big contraption that's being built out there in the Commonwealth. Thank you. No one that's mentioned it, uh, they don't know what it does. Not for sure. This You're one hell of a soldier, you know that? Well, I mean, it's, it's, just, it's just people talking, you know? It doesn't, doesn't make it true. Not necessarily. But it's been said, well, 
has something to do with the Institute. You know what? I'm trying to blow it up. Or make it disappear or something. There aren't... There aren't really any details. If, uh... If I were you, and I saw this thing... Well, <laughs> you better believe that... You know, I'd, I'd run the other way. Keep a knocking by Louis Jordan is next. I like this one. It's short and it's about telling people to go away. Since we oh. talk, I'm feeling swell. Look at the two of us. Here. Back here, hurry! Huh? Ah! Run away like cowards, afraid of straw.
hip boy? My left arm's one of those. You're back. You find that paint? Wasn't easy, but I found some. Yeah. Now that's damn fine news. Why don't you go ahead and paint the first stroke? Let's see how the shade matches up. Abbott. Mmm. That's a good shade of green. The wall sure seems happy with it. Happy to help. It's been an honor. It's nice to work with someone who knows how to show respect. There's your payment, and a little bonus for getting the right shade of green. Don't do anything with it I wouldn't do. Outbreak. Pretty. I don't, uh, I don't really know how, uh, serious it is or whatever, but, uh, <laughs> you might no want to think about it. Strong. The vault, I mean. I want the vault. Pete. And, well, uh, here it is. We're so delighted you've chosen us for your shopping. I'll take a look, sure. Oh.
heard you're responsible for that new coat of green on the wall. It looks nice. I gave up alcohol after hey, settling no. down here. Hey, Doctor it's you. Shot my liver. You find any of those baseball items I mentioned? Got them all right here. I like your gumption. Let me take a look. This baseball. It's the real deal. You'd sign one of these and give it to the children of anyone you killed on the field. Look at that card. See those numbers on the back? Tracks the count of enemies beaten to death by the player. Check out the leather on that mitt. Ah, really good players use them to catch bullets. True fact there. That's everything on the list. Uh, thank you. Far as I'm concerned, you're now a part of baseball collector history. I don't know why we let Valentine live in the city. He saves one or two people, and everyone... Oh, here we go. Quiet you! Yeah, it's pretty bad. This is what I tell you, Finn. Something must be done. Radio is bad for business. Makes customers unhappy. Either we have unhappy customers listening to bad DJ, or we have no music and customers have boredom. Vadim! It's true! Don't listen to my brother! Someone needs to get rid of him! We need a new DJ for the radio! I don't think many would notice if he, you know, disappeared. That's a horrible idea. I tell you, it would be easier than you think. You just have to talk to... Uh, you just have to talk him into following you out of town. He oh, would do right That's thing. enough. Sneaky Vadim killing is serious. bad. He doesn't really want to kill Travis. Okay, what's really going on here? <laughs> Sorry, we were just joking around a bit. <laughs> it's true. Only jokes. Travis is a good friend. Yefim and I worry about him. Well, Travis... He, he means well, but he does not have the confidence he needs for that job, or anything else, really. And so he's always awkward. He does not believe in himself, you see? He expects he will fail at everything, and so he does. Well, that can always be turned around. Exactly. This is what I'm telling you, him. Go on, spoil sport. Go back to working. We will figure out how to help Travis. Come, you. Meet me in back room. We discuss plan. Hey, you're that vault dweller. From the paper. The finest liquor moonshiners can brew, right here. Let's see what you have. Mute. Hey, Vadim. Okay, let us get down to brass tacks. I am glad you are willing to help. Unlike my deadbeat brother. Travis is a good guy. He deserves better life. I'd be happy to help. Okay, so... Travis, you want to be part of helping Travis? You show up after six. Otherwise, we do it without you. Oh, hello again. 
I can take your order whenever you're ready. If you're hungry, we sell food. We enjoy people who order drinks. What? What? What's this about? Oh, what's wrong? Not so tough once you're not on the air. Ho oh, oh. ho! I'm just. Hey there, I don't pal. like oh, you, and I don't you. like your radio. I'm what here to give you a hand. Hey, I, I mean, I'm not really looking to cause, you know, trouble. I don't... I have no idea what I did to deserve this. I just wish they'd go away. Let's do something about this, then. No, no, I... I that might end badly. With these men, it could... Well, it, it, it could turn violent. Don't worry. I've got your back. Well... If you think it would work... Don't think. Fight. Okay. That's... Well... That's Beat enough. It, pal. Oh, I'm sorry. You say something. I said... I said, that's enough. Leave me alone. <laughs> Look at you. Hmm, let me think about that for a second. Beat it, pal. Nah, I don't think so. I mean it. Leave me alone! Well, sounds like you were thinking about saying, or else. <laughs> were you, Travis? Were you gonna say, or else? I'm wondering what comes after that. Beat it, pal. What you gonna do, little man? I'll, I'll, I'll beat you up! Big mistake, Travis. I'm gonna destroy you, you there. and uh, your friend here. Ah, yes, Travis, you such a bad idea. famous bobber of well, liquor on tap really. all day. But that's kind of like news, like without the commitment. Why am I anyway, doing this? Anyway, it's about a vault here in the Commonwealth. So there's that vault. It's, uh, it's number still 81. still a human being, being under all that arm. pretty much closed all the time, right? Well, hmm. the rumor that I have heard. What's going on? I mean, uh, huh. Hey, Travis. Whoa. Kind of, um, I can't believe it. We did it. I don't. Uh, I knew you had it in you. I can't. I can't believe it. You were right. Whoa. I've. I've got things to do now. Listen, really, I, I can't thank you enough. Well, sure looking good lately. Guess I haven't found some more paint. <laughs> I think that went well. <laughs> Ready for the next part of foolproof plan? Bring it on. Good attitude. It's nice and easy. You have seen Scarlet, yes? She has worked here for some time. Now, I am just simple bartender, but I see things. I see how Travis looks at her, and I see that sometimes she looks at him. If someone who was not her employer suggests that she go spend time with Travis, it might do him some good. I could have a chat with her. <laughs> yes, I know. This is why I'm telling you. Just do whatever it takes to get her to agree to see Travis, and this will all be worth it. And you and I never talked about this, all right? Look, just leave me alone. Your Frankenstein friend, Frankenstein.
Scarlet. I'm on a break right now. Actually, I'd like to talk to you about Travis, if you have a moment. Travis? Really? Did he... Did he mention me? Yeah, I heard about the fight. Travis was... Well, he was brave. Yeah. Absolutely. You should really pay him a visit. You think? I mean, I've definitely noticed him. Maybe... No. No, I couldn't just go over there. Look, Travis is a nice guy. I can tell that you like him. And I think he likes you. Just go talk to him. Okay, I will. I'll go see him now. Thanks. The Institute? Oh, I knew it. I knew it. He was up to no good, and look what's happened now. You've got to help. I can't do it. You've got to help me. Take it easy. It'll be all right. Just tell me what happened. They took him. They took Vadim. Th those men, th the ones that messed with Travis, they came back. Said Vadim owed the money, that they had a deal. He, he wouldn't pay, and then they grabbed him and said that they would make him pay. And then they just dragged him out. You have to do something. Please tell me you can do something. I'll bring him back, Yefim. Count on it. Please, just bring him back. He's an idiot, but he's my brother. I'd go with you, but someone has to stay here. Talk to Travis. Maybe he knows where they took him. I'm not saying anyone is a sin, you know? I'm not, I'm not saying it's... Uh, I need your help. Vadim's been kidnapped by Bull. That's not funny. And you know, I'm not joking around, Travis. This is serious. I really do need your help. Wait. Really? I have a statement oh. from the... Oh, man. Wow, is this... Office. This is because of what happened, uh, isn't it? It's... Well, I mean, it just it's my fault. Here. There's uh, nothing to worry about that it's... No, Travis, you know? this is between Vadim and those men. It's not your fault. But if I hadn't gotten into that fight with them, maybe this wouldn't have happened. Fighting never wrong. Look, I don't, I don't really. I mean, anyway, it's, uh, I don't have a lot of friends. If Vadim is missing, about, I guess, or in trouble, here comes or whatever, saying we should then I'm going to help get him back. The positive. So I guess that was All right. Being Crosby. I'd welcome the help. Good. I didn't. I didn't want to have to argue about it with you. I've heard enough to know they're probably holed up at the old Beantown Brewery. We've got to go in there, show them we mean business, and, and then we can bring Vadim back, and everything will be okay. Right? I'll, I'll get a gun, and I'll meet you there. We'll settle this. I'm on a break right now. here. So this
I didn't know if anyone would come. I thought perhaps this is the end. Uh, thank you, thank you. You are true friend. You're welcome, Vadim. We weren't gonna leave you to these guys. You are a good man. <laughs> these idiots had caps and gems just lying around. <laughs> they, they did not notice when I filled my pockets. You deserve what I took. Ah, uh, and promise. I am surprised to see you here. <laughs> hey, Vadim. I'm glad you're safe. How did you get roped into this? I, I wasn't forced or anything. I wanted to help. <laughs> you are full of surprises, my friend. <clears throat> Man. What a day, huh? Hey, listen. I wanted to say thanks. This has been, well, it's been crazy, but I've learned a lot, I think. You came through it all pretty well, Travis. That's good to hear. Thanks. Human weak fighter, but brave. After all this, I think about the things that had me worried so much, and it just seems silly, you know? Like, was I really that worried about just being on the radio? That's nothing compared to being beaten up, shot at. I can do so much more. And I need to. Anyway, thanks again. I owe you.
just heard. Crawl out through the fallout. Keep nice. So the the Minutemen hey, are out there. Hey, ain't no shame in taking the occasional camp. In the Commonwealth. Solomon can hook what you. What kind of things you ask? Well, I will. I will tell you. I have heard that they huh, that they have taken over the castle, which I guess was theirs a long time ago, but it hasn't been for a while. It had been full of fish or monsters. Sweet. Or monster fish? Maybe? I don't know. I didn't re that not relevant. The Minutemen are there now. That's good for them. And I guess for everyone else too. So Yeah. How about How about some music? If you found out a uh family member was suffering from a uh, I don't know. Have an have an intervention. No, or Florida. that's a I real guess. Weapon. You could Talk write a song Crone. about it. He'll fix you up. Doctor. This better be an emergency. Do you know anything about this receipt? Let me see. Hmm. This is Dr. Crocker's deplorable handwriting, all right. Looks like Earl Sterling was one of his patients. The procedure noted here is mundane, low-risk cosmetic work. Dr. Crocker never performed it, however. Said Earl vanished before he paid. Now, I must insist we talk about your medical needs. Where is Doc Crocker? I'm a doctor, not a secretary. I'm sure he'll be around eventually. Anyway, we should get back to your immediate medical requirements. Not today. Let me know if that changes. Time and city surplus. Open 24 hours. I'm telling you, it ain't just a story. University King, that settlement on the coast, wiped out. Human sense. Look like Solomon. You look like you need a prescription fill. I'll take a look, sure. Self-served medicine. Prescriptions filled right here. Uh-huh. Did you say something about drugs? That's right. Huh? Everyone. Let's see what you got. Self-served medicine. Don't dally. If you're here to be examined... So what kind of treatments are... Bandaging... So what kind of treatments are common around here? Bandaging... Ugh. Doctors. Not interested. So... Yeah! How about... How about some music? Uranium fever is on next, and, well, uh, I'm pretty sure not the time is the right we can all find the humor in this subject, right? Maybe? Hey, I'm not saying I want to shoot you. That is cool.
gear and my slippers after this shift. Myrna. That's all Remember, I don't serve sense. Supplies are... Uh-huh. Let's see what you have. A bit of... Uh -huh. Got chems right here for you, brother. Sure. Let's take a look. Self-served man. Chems bad. Got too much dirt in that head? Doctor. Radiation poisoning is a common ailment, but we can cure- uh -huh. Do you know anything about this receipt? Please. I really don't have time to deal with complaints or refunds right now. Now, let's get back to talking about your medical... Ugh. Doctors. Where is Doc Crocker? I'm a doctor. No, no I must ins... Got Kim's right here for you, brother. Sure, let's take a look. Kim's for. Don't be caught dead. You again. <laughs> All right, got plenty of supplies. Weaponry. Sure, let's take a look. Every. Recommended by me, myself, and I. I may sell just about everything, but none of I've got a few minutes to browse. Just don't call it junk. Chem's right here for you, brother. I've got a few minutes to browse. Every chem for it. Mm -hmm. Doctor. 
we offer a wide variety of medical treatments. Do you know anything about this receipt? Please. I really don't have time to deal with complaints or refunds right now. Dr. Crocker handles those questions. Any... Where is Doc Crocker? Last time I saw him, he had to get something out of the surgery cellar. Probably just had to wash some needles or move some storage around. Now, let's get back to talking about your medical needs. I need to get into the cellar, Doctor. What does this look like? A public outhouse? Uh, you know what? Don't answer. Why on earth would I let you down there? I'm investigating a missing person, Doctor. And I think the trail leads to your basement. A missing person? In our basement? So unless you have something... Could a hundred caps change your mind? A hundred caps? To visit our basement? Well, I guess there wouldn't be any harm. All right. Here, the key. Just don't touch anything down there. Understand? Got too much dirt in that hair? Get it trimmed. Where'd all this blood come from? It goes right into the basement. Oh, Earl. You've... You've really been a handful, you know. But I think we're just about done. Our little mistake is finally going to be corrected. Oh, naughty, naughty. You're not supposed to be down here, but that's okay. I can fix that. I can fix anything. What did you do to Earl Sterling, Doctor? What did I do? I, I didn't do anything. It was, uh, it was Earl. It was Earl who didn't want to be happy. Good patients get a nice, new face. Bad patients bleed all over the floor because they want to screw up their surgeon's life! You've killed a man, Doctor. You're going to pay for it. Put the gun down and come with me. Or else strong smash puny human! No. No one can find out. No one can find out! <laughs> human, let's play! Okay, who's that next? That was Butcher Pete by Roy Brown. Not, not, not the other way What's around. What's going on here? Is, is that Dr. Crocker? I think you owe me an explanation. What happened here? Doc Crocker killed Earl Sterling. See for yourself. Dr. Crocker killed Earl? The, the facial reconstruction? Maybe everyone else so he really knows. did go through with it. That explains he, a lot uh, more than I'm comfortable with. Dr. Crocker always cared about his reputation, but this, this is inhuman. Last scene, uh, attacking Fort Strong? You let this happen, Doctor. You could have stopped this. You're, you're right. I should have known Dr. Crocker wasn't in any condition to continue practicing medicine. I should have known he killed Earl. Please, just go. I'll send the report to security and clean up this mess. That, uh, that was a joke. By the way, I was totally kidding. <laughs> Didn't really mean it. And if the Brotherhood you is listening, so I'm sure it's very nice. Please don't. Betty Hutton sounds like she sure is mad about some guy. Here's her song. I'm glad you're here. We got a new case while you and Nick were out. Ready to put on the detective hat? Tell me more. Our client is a fisherman who lives on the edge of the Commonwealth, Kenji Nakano. Mr. Nakano didn't leave many details, said he'd go over everything when you meet him. But if you want my guess, missing person case. Guy had a worried look a mile long. I'll go check it out. Thanks, Ellie. The Nakano residence is up in the northeast, near the coast, a small fishing house. He said that he and his wife will be waiting for you. Miss Perkins. So? You find out where Earl Sterling ran off to? Earl never went anywhere. Doc Crocker killed him during a botched surgery. Crocker killed Earl? Gone as long as he was, I figured maybe Raiders or the Institute, but Crocker? Where's the Doc now? Rotting in a cell, I hope. It was either him or me. I had to put him down. Goodness. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Here, take this. Sounds like you earned it. I'll send word along. Let everyone down at the dugout end know what happened. Shame it couldn't be better news. Thanks again for closing this one out. Be careful when you head over to the Nakano residence.
evidence. That whole area is pretty isolated. You know, if you're up for another case, Nick got a hollow tape from an old partner, claiming he'd uncovered a mystery he wanted Nick's help solving. Strong hate steel brotherhood. Human-looking sins? Hi. Ready, they sir? hide in plain sight. Let's do this. Yes, sir. Here's the location. I'll follow your lead, sir.
This checkpoint has been designated as a safe house in case of enemy invasion, and is currently stocked with additional food, water, and ammunition. This safe house is for military personnel only. Citizens, including non-military family members, will be turned away from matters of national safety. This message will repeat. This is an emergency message to all Commonwealth Army soldiers. Emergency protocols 17 Echo Charlie Niner are in effect. If you are in distress, please proceed to the South Boston Military Checkpoint for aid. Coordinates are available in your emergency handbook. This checkpoint has been designated. Danny K there singing uh, that was Civilization. No one. Sit. Hey, so uh, there's this Good bit of news thought. that uh, might good. it might interest you. Uh, if not, hang on a minute and I'll go back to the music that we usually play. <clears throat> if it was up to me. I'd take every feral mutie and synth and shoot them into space. If you hadn't, uh, heard. I mean, I guess most people know this, but maybe someone didn't. That, uh, the Green Tech building was where those mercenaries lived? Uh, the gunners! Gunners! That's it. That was, like, their base, sort of. Only now, pretty much all dead. Those guys were tough, so... I think we're being I mean, shot. Enemies sighted. I guess whoever Fire killed them... Wire. Had to be even tougher, right? And there's uh You're gonna pay for that. I don't know Son if this is true or not, but there's this rumor that maybe maybe the institute was involved. But that's just what I heard. I don't know if that's true or not. It's probably it's probably not. Make no Sloppy uh, tactics, bad Segway. Uh, back to the music, I guess. If anyone is uh, is listening, oh, in fact, even if you're not, this, this is the ink spot. Elder Maxon ordered me to follow him to the gates of hell. I'd be the first one to pick them up. This 
This checkpoint has been designated as a safe house in case of enemy invasion, and is currently stocked with additional food, water, and ammunition. This safe house is for military personnel only. Citizens, including non-military family members, will be turned away from matters of national safety. I'm gonna locate it. I'll get started. This is an emergency message to. Attention, Halbert Pilot to Station Epsilon. Halbert Pilot report to Station Epsilon. Permission? That is all. Yes, sir. Good. Here's payment for a job well done. Please, if you can spare the time for another patrol, come find me. I can handle another patrol. Good. Good. There's too much information out there, and it mustn't go to waste. Your assigned scribe will meet you at the airport. There, she'll give you the research patrol location. Return with both scribe and data intact, and your mission is complete. Excuse me, Proctor Quinlan. Ah, Knight. How is the research patrol going? Or you have to- Uh-huh. I found some technical documents for you. Splendid. I'll put them to use right away. Here are the caps that I promised. Remember, check- for good measure. These humans like fighting. Ready to get to work? Just tell me what I need to do. It's a simple job, really. You are gonna be doing some digging. I'm your guy. No one likes a brown noser. The other two are down there digging already. Go give them a hand, will ya? get through. Want to see what's on the other side? Oh, yeah. You think Bobby will pay us this week? I don't know, man. It's starting to feel like we're doing charity. Did you just hear something? It's crawling with my alerts. Fail! Bobby can take this job and shove it. Good luck. Smash you down! What is going on in my tunnel? That room was filled with mire lurks. At least you put up a better fight than those good-for-nothings. Well, you stuck around at least. So I guess you're promoted. You get to be my new gun. I think we just need one more guy. An old friend. He'll want a fair cut, but we saw what being cheap got me. Just tell me where to go and who to talk to. I knew I liked you. 
First, I think it's best if you actually see what we're after. I have some things to check on in Diamond City. Head over to the noodle shop there, and I'll meet you when I finish up my business. the man out of time, Gold Dweller wakes up after 200 hey, years. Who wants to look beautiful? Hairstyles from across the Commonwealth. You ain't gonna last once you leave the wall, so don't get chummy. You watch your step. Got my eye on you. You there. We need to talk. some uh news well more of a rumor really but that's kind of like news like without the commitment anyway it's about a vault here in the commonwealth so there's that vault it's uh number 81 and it stays pretty much closed all the time right well the rumor that i have heard what's going around i mean uh huh. People are saying there was some kind of, uh, disease outbreak. I don't, uh, I don't really know how, uh, serious it is or whatever, but, uh, you might want to think about, you know, avoiding it. The vault, I mean. Avoiding what the vault. What seems to be the problem? The problem is that I've learned that you killed my son, Nelson. Is this true? I mean, the vault is right there. I didn't kill Nelson. Whoever told you that was lying. Uh, you are an easy target for anyone trying to shift blame off themselves. If it wasn't you, then who was it? Do you know who killed Nelson? Rocket 69 is next. And, I mean... I heard it was Morawski. Nelson was buying chems from him. I know he was. And now it makes sense why Morawski would try to put the blame on you. That bastard needs to pay. And you can't be too happy about him pinning this on you, right? I'll pay you 400 caps to take care of him. We both win. What do you say? You've got a deal. Morowski's as good as dead. I hope so. Come back and talk to me when he's actually dead. Self-prescribed Kim! As recommended by me, myself, and I... Bobby. There you are. Huh. Was wondering if you were gonna show up. Yes, it's me. 
I have to hide my face in these parts. People like me aren't allowed around here. Now let's get down to business. That big wall of glass looming over Diamond City is the mayor's office. Most people don't know it, but there's a strong room buried beneath. Mayor's just sitting on top of it. And that's our target. The guy has it coming, if you ask me. With how he treats my kind, maybe he deserves worse. Let's get started. I like your attitude. So, what do you say we make this party a little bigger? I managed to track down my tech guy. His name's Mel, and he is right here in Diamond City. The guy can make a gadget to solve any problem. Thing is, he's a bit locked up right now. You have to get him out of there. I can't just stroll into Diamond City security with this face. Covered or not. If you really think we need this guy... Trust me, this is the guy we need. Pick a lock, find a key, bribe the guard. The usual stuff. Just get him out of there. The hub of trade for all Diamond City right here. The latest hairstyles from the upper stand. Yours. I saw you poking around that abandoned house. I'm gonna assume McDonough gave you permission and leave it at that. Mel here. Can I help you? Mel. Mel here. Can I help you? I am getting you out of here. If so, maybe you shouldn't be announcing it so every guard in Diamond City can hear. Um, totally unrelated, but I hear that there's an old glitched out Protectron unit back there. Guards asked me to take a look, but it was a real head scratcher. Couldn't do a thing. Mel. Mel here. Can I help you? I hear you're some kind of tech expert. You heard right. Well, maybe tech is too general. I have a thing for robots. No, not that kind of thing. But I know my way around most machines, yeah. Why? Need my help? Do you come here often? You know, they always say you'll meet that special someone in the last place you expect. So why are you here? You want something from me, right? No, I'm here to help you. Mm-hmm. You need me for something, don't you? Nobody helps me unless they need something. Um, totally unrelated, but I hear that there's an old glitched out Protectron unit back there. Guards asked me to take a look, but it was a real head scratcher. Couldn't do a thing.
And that was Frankie Carl there. Well, I mean, I guess it was actually Marjorie Hughes doing this. Uh, uh, never mind. Folks, I, I'd, I'd like to take a moment for something a little more personal than usual. As I'm sure you know all too well, I haven't always been the best at this job. Hey, let's face it, I've been pretty terrible. Thanks to the efforts of a few of my friends, I've decided to change how I look at things, how I live my life. I'd like to just take this opportunity to thank the Vault Dweller for lending me a hand. I really do appreciate it. All right, <laughs> folks. That's enough sentiment from me for one day. Let's get it on back to the music, shall we? There's no getting away from Ray Smith. Here's right behind you, baby. Computers just oh, No. Just keep going. Diamond City Surplus is where you can sell all those scraps you've scavenged. Officer? You got something to say? I was hoping to get Mel at a lockup. No way. He's gonna serve his time just like everyone else. You got something to say? I'll give you 300 caps to let Mel out of there. Keep your voice down, will ya? I shouldn't be doing this. But fine, if you need him that bad. All right. Free to go, buddy. You watch your step. I've got my eye on you. Let's just get out of here. Mel. I'm curious what this is about, but let's talk once we make some distance, okay? Mel. I'm curious what this is about, but let's talk once we make some distance, okay? Thanks for getting me out, I guess. So, you're Bobby's new toy. Bobby asked me to get you out. I bet it was just out of the kindness of her huge heart, right? God. That woman doesn't have a patient bone in her body. I wasn't serving a life sentence here. What, she couldn't wait, like, a day? What's the job? 
How'd you like to help break into the Diamond City strong room? Well, damn. That's a big score. Could be enough caps there to keep me going for a long time. Bobby may be shady, but she always pays up in the end. So, I guess I'll get my stuff and head over to her place. We're all paying for it now. Down another gun. Everyone's gonna have to step up next time we get attacked. Hey, I got you, man. No worry. yourself into trouble again, Mel? What can I say? All right. I'll learn from the We're best. We're all here. Mel, you want to introduce your little friend? Yep. Meet Sonia. This little bot is going to help us move through the earth like a mole rat on jet. I'm excited to see what she can do. <laughs> I can't wait to show you. She's one of a kind. <laughs> I modified her radio systems to emit sonic pulses at frequencies that can loosen any sediment around. Mel says we'll be able to get to the strong room ten times faster than just digging. And it's a hell of a lot safer than loading this place up with dynamite. All right, guys, get ready. I'm not completely sure how this place will respond. So, uh, brace yourselves. Sonia, do your thing. Harris. So, what's the deal with the new guy? Hey, I'll, uh... <laughs> if you, you know, haven't already seen it, which I do. I know it's true. Uh, uh, Nick Valentine is back in town. He's gone. <laughs> Well, they th they thought he might be dead or destroyed. Or anyway. uh, glad you're back, Nick. Even though we never really talk, like ever. A human jump. Now here is uh, anything goes. By Cole Porter. I mean, I wouldn't say anything by Cole Porter, but but I'll. But this is anything goes. Oh. 
Over here, Mel. Gotcha. Sonia. Seems like a dead end to me. Let's see if we can backtrack and blast another path. Mel, get Sonya over here. No problem. Come on, Sonya. Like the subway tunnel. Then we're on the right track. Aha, I see what you did there. What? No. Just keep heading southwest. What? <laughs> Mel, get Sonya over here. like a subway tunnel. Then we're on the right track. Aha, I see what you did there. Good evening. <coughs> 
you two might want to watch out for the radiation around here. The thing on this one's wrist has a Geiger counter equipped. I'll just keep my ears open for clicks. I don't want to nerd out over it, but a Rob Pro Pip Boy is a rare find, my friend. You're gonna have to let me play with it later. We're getting really close. There's a brewery near our strong room. This has to be the basement of that brewery. A brewery, you say? Mel, no. Just kidding. Jeez. Gonna be a good fight. We need Sonya here. Just kidding. Jeez. We need to get through here, Mel. Bobby, get Leave human junk. It's useless. If Bob... If Bobby's directions are correct, and I have my doubts, the strong room should be right through there. If you had anything else you wanted to check out in this tunnel, I suggest you do that first. I'm ready. You got it. Let's do this. Ready, Sonya? Bobby. Great. Now my socks are wet. Well, guys, we're right under the Diamond City strong room. You sure this is the right place? I've been mapping it out, and I think Diamond City should be a little further north of here. I don't have a doubt in On mine. How about a little trust for the boss? I trust you, Bobby. That's why you are my favorite. There is a mountain of caps for the Taken here. We just have to work together to get to it. We still need a way to get up there, though. Mel, you think your robot will work here? Look at this place. The foundation is already crumbling. 
One blast from Sonya, and I bet the floor above will come right down. Well, then make it so. He won't want to be in the room for this collapsing foundation and all. Good thinking. All right, then. Everybody clear out. Sonya, prepare yourself for a blast at maximum power. Here we go. That didn't sound good. Okay. Now let's get up into that strong room, shall we? Oh, no, 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 Sonya! Pull yourself together, Mel. We don't need that thing anymore anyway. But you can make another robot. Keep your head in the game. What are you doing here? Shit. You seriously didn't think Hancock would catch wind of your scheme? He took you in, Bobby. And you're stealing from him? Don't listen to her. Mel was right. This isn't Diamond City. So what? This doesn't change anything. It is still the same job. That I see was, the rest uh, of you are in the dark Cosby. about this. Yep. Nice, no-nos. You all just broke into Hancock's storeroom. You know. Hancock. The mayor of Good Neighbor. Damn it, Bobby. Listen, guys. Well, I know I'd, this I'd isn't like what you expected. But there are still a ton of caps on the line here. Help me take her and out. Sure and all of it is ours. This is Hancock we're ripping off here. Hey, the guy hey, tends to hold grudges. Counteroffer. Just go back Thanks into your tunnel, and we can friends. forget this ever happened. What I've do you say? change how I look at things. How I live my life. I'd like to just take this out. What is this about, Bobby? Why did you lie to us? I knew no one in their right mind would help me rip off Hancock. Everyone is so damn afraid right. of him, is so okay. damn in love with him. He thinks he is invincible. I wanted to show him he wasn't. This is Travis Lone. I am gonna see this through, Bobby. You won't regret this. Might as well finish what we started. Uh, Wrong move. Can talk boring. Humans should fight more. Nice work. The loot must be in that closed train car. Let's open it up. Huh. Fair no problem to have a key. Let's see if you can find it. Let me check it out first. Why well, always take human junk? Not me. Bobby. That's what I'm talking about. Gotta be tons of dirt on Hancock in here. Yeah, well, I'm just glad we made it through all that alive. And now you get paid for it. So quit your whining. And you, I couldn't have pulled this off without your help. I think I deserve a bigger cut for my role in all this. We all did our part here. You will get what is owed to you, and no more. Here is your share. You done good, kid. Enjoy. Bobby, 
Might be best if we weren't seen together for a while. Wouldn't want to draw any undue attention. I'm gonna enjoy spending all this. Thomas work. They're hiding something. I'm sure of it. Caravan was hit awfully close to Covenant, all right. Hey, Deezer. Less rads, less mute fruit. What's in the left? I'll take some. Enjoy! I hate this place. Hey, Dan. This whole place has got me on edge. Hope you found something on the caravan. Do you have any other leads? No. If Covenant doesn't pan out, then I don't know where to start. I'll cross that road if I have to. People here are real sensitive about synths. What is a synth? You must be new around here. Synths are synthetic people made by the Institute. Real advanced machines. Might as well be human because no one can tell the difference between them and us. Everyone in the Commonwealth is afraid of synths and the Institute. But come to mention it, I've been here a long while and nobody's even breathed a word about them. That is odd. 
Do you have any proof Covenant is involved with the caravan? I got one thing. They deny up and down that Stockton's men ever came here. But they most certainly did. There's no reason to bald face lie to me if they're not hiding something. I'll keep poking around. Do you have any pr No. We'll talk later. It's good to see a new face. And that, folks, was the ink spots. Now here's the latest from the Commonwealth. Reports suggest a chem deal gone bad outside Diamond City. Details are scarce, but it sounds like whatever happened, it was pretty violent. If we're able to verify any further details of this story, we'll pass them on to you listeners. <laughs> Just another day in the Commonwealth, huh, folks? Here's Uranium Fever by Elton Britt. It's catchy, right? Hey, at least it's on the floor. Hard to break. They're hiding something. I'm sure of it. Hey, Dan. This whole place has got me on edge. Do you have any... I got... There's no... Do you have any proof Covenant is involved? No. Do you have any other leads? No. Uh-huh. Do you have any proof Covenant is... No. I still have no proof. People here are real sensitive about... You must... Real... Everyone mm -hmm. in the Commonwealth is... I've got... We'll talk later. Another newcomer. Welcome. Hey, Deezer. Less rads, less mute fruit. What's in the lemon? I'll take some. Enjoy. Head on in. Penny's shop is usually the first stop. Caravan was hit awfully close to Covenant, all right.
just heard Bob Crosby here on Diamond City Radio. Just when you thought you'd heard everything, folks. After there a long day, nothing about a very strange Jesus looking machine lemonade. being built well, up he- there in the Commonwealth. Your friend Travis here has yet to learn what this thing is for. But I can tell you, imaginations are running wild. Wackiest version I've heard so far is that this thing is supposed to somehow contact the Institute. Now, I don't think I believe that, but if it's true, Hello. and whoever's building it can Jacob, hear me, I hope you're enjoying down your the stay. Wrench, friend. It'll only end badly. Tell me about yourself. Else I make there well, sure. that thing does. Come see your old friend Travis Lonely Miles. I'll keep you up to date, as always. Ladies, I bet every one of you out there knows a man like the one Betty Hutton sings about. Here's a, he's a demon, he's a devil, he's a dog. Find your own fishing spot. Clear out. <laughs> Outsiders aren't allowed. The missions must be <laughs> Other side's chained up. What's that noise? You just heard Bob Crosby here on Diamond City Radio. Here's the latest word on what's happening in the Commonwealth, folks. Not content with sitting quietly at the airport, the Brotherhood continues to make waves. They've recently been seen cleaning up Fort Strong, formerly occupied by some very unpleasant super mutants. Whether they plan to annex the location or just wanted to get rid of the neighbors, I couldn't say. Whatever their reasoning, I think we can all agree that fewer super mutants running around isn't a bad thing. Ruminating on second chances. Here are the ink spots with maybe.
We don't tolerate violence or vulgarity. Steer clear of those, and we'll get along just hmm. fine. Looks like a traitor left a bedroll. No marks on it, so no way of telling if it's from Stockton's people. Want to smash something? Bunkhouse is off limits. Well, hello. Enjoy your stay! Get your lemonade here! I hate this place. Hey, Dan. You find out anything about the caravan? They took the survivors to a compound. Then we're in business. I'll meet you there and we'll rescue ourselves some caravan hands. Hey, a stranger. Jacob. Hey, a stranger. It's no secret you've been poking around. Not very neighborly of you, if you ask me. I know you think you're doing the right thing. Just don't make any rash decisions you'll regret. I don't know what you're talking about. If only that were true. Use your best judgment, friend.
hiding something. I'm sure of it. Outsiders aren't allowed. The missions must be protected. Something's out there. Come back here, damn it. Let's play, little human. Human, let's play. Okay, who's next? Excuse me. And here you hear. are. Don't you think? My life's work on the verge of ruin, all Here's because of your efforts to find Danny Stockton's Kane. supposed daughter. You do know she's most likely a synth, yes? If you are more than a hired gun, perhaps we can stop this before it's too late. I'll give you a fair hearing. How considerate. What would you do if your family was destroyed by a synth? right in front of you, when you were but a child. Would you roll over and accept it? Or would you do something about it? Believe me, I've been there. But I haven't resorted to torturing innocents. Casualties are inevitable. It may not look like it, but we're at war. As long as the Institute walks invisibly amongst us, they strike without warning and control us from the shadows. I've dedicated my life to devising a test to detect these hidden synths, to root them out so they can be extinguished. Isn't that a goal worth fighting for? You can't seriously want to kill all the synths. We most certainly do, but we have to find them first. A living synth is indistinguishable from a human by any medical test yet devised. But it turns out psychology can detect a difference. Enter the safe test. The test is in its infancy, but through sacrifice and perseverance, our success rate is improving. But your methods are barbaric. It's torture. To improve the safe test, Intense psychological pressure must be applied to our test subjects. It is distasteful, but necessary. Covenant is many things. 
A refuge for the broken people left in the wake of the Institute's rampages. A place of safety and healing. But most importantly, it is our one chance to end this age of paranoia. I will make you a deal. If you let me dispose of Stockton's synth and continue our work, I'll match whatever reward you were offered. I've had my fill of crazy on this contract. No deal. Fortunate for me. I wasn't talking to you. You side with this nut job, and we're going to have a serious, deadly problem. Sorry. That's a deal I won't accept. Then you'll just have to kill me. Now wear your guts around my neck. Dead not need things. We take! Hey, Dan. So Stockton gets his daughter and we get paid. Not a bad day. It was good working with you. Likewise. Glad you were on my side. Here's your cut of the reward. I'll get my half from Stockton. Been a pleasure. I did more than half the work on this job. My share should reflect that. I've had enough of haggling to last three lifetimes. So we're done. Now here I thought I sent you to scout out Pikmin Gallery. Exactly what part of that sounded like, rob my strong room to you. I made a mistake. You're damn right you did. No one steals from me. But I gotta admit, you and Bobby pulled one hell of a job. Almost makes me wish I had done it myself. Now, if it was just the money, I'd rough you up, break a few bones, and then we'd be square once you paid me back. But you killed Fahrenheit. That means blood for blood. Fortunately for you, I'm short on muscle. And Bobby was the brains. You track her down, put a knife in her, and get back my, let's say, thousand caps, and we'll pretend this was all a misunderstanding. I'll take care of it. That was the right answer. Bobby's smart, but not half as smart as she thinks she is. She's been having all her new tidings of wealth shipped to a building in South Boston. That's where you'll be heading. Now go. Yeah?
Tex Beneke, folks. Travis Lonely Miles here, with the latest news update from the Commonwealth. And this one... sounds heavy. The Green Tech Building, long known as a haven for gunner mercenaries, was recently assaulted by an unknown group. From what I understand, there aren't any gunners left to tell the tale. If that's true, it's a little unsettling. Those guys meant business. There are rumors circulating that the Institute was somehow involved. Now I know, they come up every time something bad or unexplained happens. But in this case, even I have to admit, it's hard to not suspect they were involved. Don't jump to conclusions, but keep your wits about you folks. And don't worry. But this time, there's no reason to suspect our fair city is in danger. So you just sit back and enjoy some quality music. Courtesy of Diamond City Radio. Here's a throwback to simpler times. When folks actually went looking for radioactive material. Huh. It's Elton Britton with uranium fever. Well, look who it is. Makes a ghoul a bit nervous, though, you showing up here unannounced. So who hired you to track me down? It was Hancock, wasn't it? He wants me to kill you and bring back his caps, plus damages. Aren't you the little mercenary? And what exactly are you planning to do? If you leave your caps and run, I'll take them to Hancock and say I put you down. No one has to die. All right, fine. Guess there's no point in hanging on to them if they're just gonna get me killed. I already spent a chunk of it. So you're gonna have to make up the difference. You're welcome to hawk whatever you can carry out of here. And listen, I appreciate you doing this the civilized way. 
I won't forget it. Wherever the hell I end up. Dumb move! <laughs> Hey. Hey. Here. Hey. This what strong caring for human. Heads up. Need strong to smash some thing. I've got a weapon here for every situation. Sure. Let's take a look. Purchase a variety in case of boredom. Sure. Just heard Undecided by Ella Fitzgerald.
Coming at you almost live from Diamond City. I'm your host, Travis Lonely Miles. And this is Diamond City Radio. If there's someone special in your life, then this next song is for you. If there isn't, feel free to take this opportunity to resent the happy couples around you. Here's one more tomorrow. Leo. Don't worry. I only test the weapons on customers I don't like. Feel free to browse. I've got a few minutes to browse. Let's get you. I heard you walked that freedom trail. What, you some kind of, what do they call it? History buff? Hey, Hancock. Well, hey there, Trouble. You got something to say to me? I dealt with Bobby. Job's done, huh? Good. Now, let's talk about my caps. You are on the hook for a grand. Look, Bobby left a whole bunch of stuff. Just sell that. Ah, look at you scrambling around. You're off the hook. Ain't like I need the money. This thing with Bobby had to be done, but damn, look at me. Am I turned into the man? Putting down people's freedom to do what comes natural? I gotta take a walk. Get back in touch with my fellow lowlifes. That's why I've decided I'm coming with you. Hitting my strong room proves you've got that devil take me attitude I need to reconnect with glad to have you with me before we head out I gotta have a little chat with the community I'll meet you afterwards Hey, everybody, gather up. I got something you all need to hear. No rush, everyone just take your time. Look, everyone, I'm taking a walk. It's time for your fearless leader to get back out there. Mix it up in the dirt. Always gonna be here in spirit, man. Good neighbor and I, we gotta shoot up. But like, uh, you know, relationship. Sometimes you gotta spend time apart. Let things cool off. Remind yourself of who you are. So that's why I'm leaving. I'm still your mayor. I'm still gonna be here when you need me. But it's time for me to stop living so damn comfortable. Because we all know, 
No one in power deserves to be comfortable for long. Now, what's the best town in the Commonwealth? Where can someone live free with no judgment? Good neighbor! All the people! All the people! All the people. The people. And don't let no one forget it, You'd sir. You'd be amazed how little this neighborhood has changed. The bombs may have dropped. But the dirt is still... I ain't just your friend. Hancock. So, you ready to get this show on the road? Let's do it. Done. Cool, good fighter. Strong approve. Guess you mutants do have some sense, don't you? Strong go with human. Yes, come with me. Strong travel with human. This looks like the start of a seriously good time to me. No fun. Milk of human kindness is business. Hancock. Look who it is. We heading out again? Not now. Suit yourself. Oh, you. Staying with us today? Renter assumes no expectation of privacy or safety for you or your belongings. Uh, let me think about it. Figures. from the Commonwealth. Reports suggest a chem deal gone bad outside Diamond City. Details are scarce, but it sounds like whatever happened, it was pretty violent. If we're able to verify any further details of this nice story, piece you got there. we'll pass them on to you. Just keep it holstered. <laughs> Just another day in the Commonwealth, huh, folks? Here's Billy Holiday bringing us Easy Living. That's a good title. I just may steal that from my autobiography. Hey, 
Hey there. So, is Morosky dead? Yes, sir. As requested. Good. Bastard. I hope you didn't make it too easy for him. Here's what I owe you. As far as I'm concerned, this is the last time we ever need to speak. Ahem. I sometimes wonder what the point of it all was. I worked so hard to get here. Tell me you don't want anything. A drink. Run away, you coward! Now I have guns around my neck. With this, we commit our friend, Blake, to the earth. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. May he find peace with the Lord. Amen. Would anyone like to say anything before we move on? Blake was a great guy, and he... Let's do this! Made it. This time. Yes. Yeah, hello. Huh? Yes. Hi, how are you? Hey there. Yeah? Yes. Hello. Yeah. Excuse me. Yes.
chained on the other side. detail you had in mind when you signed up for the gunners hauling luggage from Lynn Woods for some robot butler uh, what was his name uh, Wellington <laughs> Wellingham not now private where's Connors he's not at his post oh uh, sorry sir the lieutenant said he found some tracks wanted to check them out private Martin tracks what track what the hell is that oh my Connor where where's the rest of him Jesus. Found us. Sergeant Lee, drive the case. Do not let that thing out of your sight. Everyone inside the museum, now! Major! Major, what found us? Welcome to the Cambridge Polymer Labs. Employment opportunities await in the field of scientific research. Shall we begin your application now? Sure, I'm game. Let's begin the interview. Due to increased demands for staff in all fields, we have condensed the employment test accordingly. Question one. Do you possess previous experience with polymer synthesis? Sounds like you need me regardless, so let's get down to brass tacks. Calculating test results. I am pleased to offer you the position of lab assistant. Expect a bright future in observing test equipment. Would you like the orientation before beginning your work in the labs? Uh, yeah, I guess. Please note that employee enthusiasm is factored into your yearly reviews. Please save all questions for after the... Another great one from Betty Hutton. Tour the facility. Just when you thought you'd heard everything, folks. There are tales being told about a very strange looking machine being built out there in the Commonwealth. Please find an open seat. Your friend and Travis we here presentation. has yet to learn what this thing is for. But I can tell you, imaginations are running wild. The genesis of Wackiest Cambridge Polymer I've Labs so far lies in the research of a group of brilliant graduate is students. To somehow Don Elwood, contact Erica Wollum, and Wilfred Bergman met now, during their time together that, at CIT. But this if slide it's shows true, them at their graduation. And whoever's building their research it, into nuclear restrictive and piezoelectric polymers caught the attention of Colonel badly. George Kemp in the fall of Anyone 2003. Anyone else out there knows what that thing in the spring does. Of 2004, the company was founded with a generous grant Don't provided by the date. Defense Experimental Research Project Initiative. The research produced here has resulted in several of the components used in the Liberty Prime Project that led to the successful defense of Anchorage. The company enjoys a strong relationship with the military and welcomes your addition to the research team that helps build a better America. Please follow me to the research lab so that you may begin your work. Complimentary beverages are provided for employees. Please label any food or cigarettes you leave in the break room.
Here is your lab coat and clipboard. Please take a moment to dress in your proper work attire and follow me into the clean room. The research staff will greet you on the other side of the clean room. Thank you for your attention and welcome to the team. Please enter the clean room. I have been instructed to inform you that Director Elwood has issued mandatory overtime due to uncompleted milestones. Here's clean like Staff humans will not be do. allowed to leave the labs until Rats the feasible clay lining project weak. has been completed. Ah. Please report to the project lead, Dr. Elwood Woolham, for specific research assignment. Starting decontamination sequence. Strong not like this place. Too human. Smash your brains out! 
Enjoyed that last number? Good news is something often in short supply in the Commonwealth, folks. So I'm happy to be able to deliver a little bit to you. If you were one of the folks worrying in hushed tones about the whereabouts of Diamond City's most effective detective, you can rest easy. Nick Valentine is back in town and seemingly none the worse for wear. While details about what happened to him are scarce, I for one am just glad he's back. And in one piece. And if there's any more good news to share, you'll hear it first here on Diamond City Radio. Here's Uranium Fever by Elton Britt. It's catching.
Got it. Oh, human junk. Worst kind of human junk.
Somewhat strong fight! <laughs>
Hope you enjoyed that last number. Now, folks, I'm sure you've all seen or heard about the latest issue of Public Occurrences. Some bold claims by our intrepid reporter. Since possibly living among us, undetected. Very serious implications, wouldn't you agree? The mayor's office has, of course, issued a statement denying the validity of the article, saying all is well in Diamond City. The mayor himself insists that the fears raised in the article are unfounded. Someone there? Good to know, I guess. But between you and me, listeners, I'm gonna keep my eyes open just to be on the safe side. Well, never a dull moment here at Diamond City Radio. Right behind you, baby, by Ray Smith is next. Someone should really explain the concept of personal space to that man. Strong gonna kill you, then strong gonna eat you!
Catch this Pikmin psycho? The slippery bastard got open. Pikmin! Way before. You can't hide down there forever. The breathing after he's hunted our crew. What? Since we talk, I'm here. Really swell. Look at the two of us here in Saint. Hancock. Look who it is. You heading out again? Not now. Suit yourself. Look who it is. Mm hmm. Well, Not now. Suit you, boy. Hey, Hancock. Look who it is. You heading out again? Hey. Quietly at the airport, the Brotherhood continues to make waves. They've recently been seen cleaning up Fort Strong. Too strong to smash something. Very unpleasant super mutants. Whether they plan to annex the location or just wanted to get rid of the neighbors, I couldn't say. Whatever their reasoning, I think we can all agree that fewer super mutants running around. Hancock. Isn't Look who it is. We heading out again. Uh huh. Now here's Let's do it. Done. Cool, so good fighter. Yes, you mutants do. Uh, uh huh. Hey. Hmm? 
You know, when I hired you to scout out Pikmin Gallery, I wasn't expecting you to take me there. Ah, well. Hey. Job's done. Heads up. You look like you could use this. They didn't tell me much. Vault Tech. Just to make sure everyone fills out their form. I was supposed to win a pack Nick, of Nick, time to hit the road? Let's head out. Well, all right. You're leaving me for this circuit board? You bring them back in one piece, Nick. I can't promise there won't be some scuffs and dings. We should head... Over to the Nakano Red. My friends say outside is smell. Excuse me. Smell oh, well. you. Uh, the cellar has been sanitized, and ownership of the surgery has reverted to me. I hope you'll give us another chance. Yeah. Take a look at me, Doc. Tell me your symptoms. Took one chem too many. Anything you can do? We can sober you up. Please, don't be an idiot and go out drinking immediately after the procedure. Got a minute? Drinks on me. All done. Any other complaints? Too much radiation. I feel sick. Blood pooling in the gums. Signs of anemia. Yeah. We better clean you up. Done. Now, was there anything else? That was it. Take better care of yourself in the future. Hey there. I've still got a question for you. I'm in town looking for Henry Cook. Do you know where I might find him? I haven't seen him. Okay. I'm just asking everybody around town. <clears throat> when I want to talk to you, I'll let you know. Probably not. Some guy came into town. We sell everything. Skip packs, ammunition, outerwear, dinnerware. I'll take a look. Sure. The highest... Uh-huh. thing for an Playing hide and seek? What the end of the line? This is gonna be fun! I need some goddamn fire support! Again! Do it again! I don't think we're alone. Ah! Ah! 
Not keep your shit! Got it. This is the undisputed winner! And who's this? Come on down where we can see ya! What the? He ain't supposed Shit. to be in here! Shit. Rip him to shreds! What? Oh, hell no! Ah! Gone for good. Ah! Ah! Cover me! You're a regular artist, aren't you? That one was ugly anyway. What's happening in the Commonwealth, folks? Not content with sitting ah, ah, quietly at the airport, the Brotherhood continues to make waves. They've recently been seen there. cleaning up Fort Strong. We don't want any trouble. Formerly occupied. Not anymore, at least. Area. Oh, just peek your head up. Is it over? Whether they plan to well, annex the location or just <laughs> want to know. get rid of the Seemed neighbors, quite the performance from where I, I was standing. Say. Are you fucking Whatever high reasoning. or something? I think we can all agree Why am I asking? Of course you around. are. Still won the fight, didn't I? You're strung out and getting sloppy it, is gentlemen. what you are. Of course, I suppose guy, you ain't got to worry about that now. About it too. Seems this one Here's just put us out of business. Man. I'm not sure if I should kiss you or have my little bird here feed you your own entrails. I told you to quit calling me that. I'm sorry? It just seemed like you guys might be in trouble. Trouble? Nah. But keeping those idiots entertained was what kept the lights on. Not exactly sure what we're gonna do now. To hell with them! More will come. Just need a quick breather and I'll be ready to go. A breather? What? So you can slam more of that junk into your arm now? No, you know what? I think this was a blessing in disguise. You caught the end of that bout. What'd you think of Kate's work? She's clearly talented. See? At least someone knows skill when they see it. It ain't your fighting skills I'm concerned with. So here's my predicament. I suddenly got no audience. No audience means I got no caps coming in. And if you ain't bringing in caps, little bird, you ain't an asset. You're a liability. To me, and to yourself. So, here's what I'm thinking. What say I let you take over her contract? She goes with you, Watches your back. Look, you'd be doing me a favor while I try to get the place back in order. What do you say? Me? And him? Why would you want her to go with me? Yeah, Tommy. Just why the hell are you trying to get rid of me? Look, truth is, all that junk, it's been making you careless. 
And I don't want to be the one doing color commentary when you finally hit the floor. All right? So just do me this favor. Both of you. Please. Sure. I could use someone watching my back. Good. It's settled then. And here, take this. It's the purse from the last fight. Exterminator's fees. Now just wait a second. What exactly are you gonna do without me here? You don't need to worry about me. I'll get this place set up right. Maybe find a less blood-soaked clientele. Now get the hell out of here. You ain't welcome anymore, little bird. You're a real son of a bitch. You know that, Tommy? You don't have to tell me. I guess you just come find me then when you want to- Hey, Kate. So, you're ready to head out? Ready. About time I got out of this place. Let's go. Heading out with Kate, huh? Hope you know what you're getting into. Hey, Valentine. I think you've got something on your face. Oh, it's skin. Yeah, you might want to get that looked at. Blast from the past. That time's long gone. Saw you over there gabbing with Zeke. What's the story? Looks like a good spot to take a rest. Here to help. Tops, from the looks of it, I'd say Boss Man thinks you have a little Adam Cat in you. Wants all Rowdy to see if you have what it takes to shack up with us. I have what it takes. We'll see. I've been putting off hauling myself over the ponds of Warwick for this, but now you get to do it. This here's something I've been fixing up. Part of the pump system at Warwick. Thing was clogged up like Zeke after one too many cans of cram. I want you to go to the pump shed there and install it. No problem. The Warwick folks might be squares, but they are nice enough. We help them out with our skills. They give us food. Works out real nice. Oh, and uh, make sure to let June Warwick know when you're done. She's the bird in charge around there.
saw you working in the pump shed over there. Are you with the Atom Cats? Correct, Daddy-o. You guys are adorable. So is that pump all fixed up now? Yep, should be all fixed. You guys are great. Thank you so much. Maybe someday this will do the farm some good. The Atom Cats have been such a great help to us. You must be hungry. Here, take some food back with you. And please, send Zeke my thanks. Just heard from the ink spots with maybe. Good news is something often Rowdy. in short supply well done. in the Commonwealth, folks. Yep. So I'm You're gonna have to give me something harder than that. That was just the first test, Buster. Don't get big-headed. <laughs> that place was a real dump, huh? Thanks for taking care of our business there. June sends her thanks. That June is a dog! And her Myler cakes are the most far-out thing I have ever tasted! Just so you know, I will be checking your work. The cats won't take credit for shoddy craftsmanship. So he had the skills to spiff up the Warwick pump. Should we rustle his jimmies with something else? We got gunners coming in hot! Gunners! Adam Cats! Let's go! Louis Jordan with keep a knocking. Diamond City Radio wouldn't be possible without the help of some wonderful businesses here in town. Commonwealth Weaponry. It's a dangerous world out there. Protect yourself. Protect Rowdy. Your family. Oh, all done. Next, we've got Bing Crosby with some advice that yep. everyone can... You're going to have to give me something harder than that. That was just the first test, Buster. Don't get big-headed. <laughs> that place was a real dump, huh? Thanks for taking care of our business there. June sends her thanks. That June is a daw, and her Myler cakes are the most far out thing I have ever tasted. Just so you know, I will be checking your work. The cats won't take credit for shoddy craftsmanship. So he had the skills to spiff up the Warwick pump. Should we rustle his jimmies with something else? Crap! We got gunners coming in hot! Gunners! Not again.
Man, Adam Katz, let's... Stop! What just happened? Happened. Gunners! Those wet rags keep trying to get their mitts on our suits! But you, Jack? Ho ho ho! You slayed! Because of you, we didn't lose a single cat today. It was no big deal. No. You, you are out of sight. And a friend of the cats in my book. You have full reign of our digs. And, uh, you know, I can get you hooked up with a little discount around here, yeah? Finally, the holy grail for anyone who knows what's cool in the Commonwealth. Your very own Adam Katz jacket. Wear it well, Jack. Rowdy. You want to spiff up your power armor? You've come to the right place. The Adam Katz have the most far out mods this side of the apocalypse. How'd I, you uh, end up here? used to run with a Raider gang a while back. Just didn't know any other way, you know? Well, one time a raid went wrong, and I was left for dead on a highway somewhere. Zeke and his boys found me while looking for spare parts. Took me in, fixed me up, and showed me I could make better use of my skills. Now I stay, because I know these knuckleheads wouldn't leave me like that. I've got a few minutes to browse.
that. Bless her heart. What Skeeter did. Is someone testing? We got a life. was recently assaulted by an unknown group. When I killed, they were out of the gunner's gun and felt the tail. Is that true? A little unsettling. Those got been business. There are rumors circulating that the Institute was somehow involved. Now I know they come up every time something bad is explained happens. Come but in this and case, embrace even I have to admit, it's hard Hunt. to not suspect they were involved. Go. Don't jump to conclusions, but I need not be afraid. keep your wits about Adam, you. Rise this is a joke. And don't this worry. Be a joke. This time, I don't know there's how no to show a girl a good time. Our fair cities in danger, hey. so you just sit back and enjoy some quality music, courtesy of Diamond City Radio. Now here's Ray Smith with Right Behind Foolish. the Baby. I need not. What? Embrace the glow! <laughs> Hell yeah. Reading that now. Really. Up, bitch. Oh damn, here we go. Has been detected. Can't Please this evacuate the building immediately. Hey. Sure. Be glad to take. I. I mean, take some stuff for you. Repeat. A chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building immediately. What? What?
nice. Evacuate the building. Who's there? A security uh. lockdown is now in effect. Mm. Repeat. A security uh. lockdown is now uh. in effect. Kill them. Kill them. Kill them. Kill them. Remain in your test chamber.
evacuate the building. I'm your host, Travis Lonely Miles, and this is Diamond City Radio. Next is Orange Colored Sky by Mr. Nat King Cole. Yes. Not bad. Remind me to give you some pointers sometime. chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building. Repeat, a chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building immediately. Got it. Got it. Please, evacuate Who's the there? building. There we go. A chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building. Please, evacuate the building.
Wow. This place is a shite hole. And here I thought it couldn't get any worse. Worse than the combat zone. Express is accessible through the Nuka World Transit Center. Parking fees will apply. Price is subject to change due to end of season. Nuka World, Nuka Express, and the Nuka Cola characters are all registered trademarks of the Nuka Cola Corporation. Hallucinogen. Find me something good. Found this gas canister. Seems potent. Awesome. We'll have to be careful with it. Break down the compounds and all that, but that's my worry. For your part, only thing left is to get paid. Here you go. As promised. Anyway, do you want to pick anything up? Homebrewed chems right here. What's Jet? You don't know? It's the best. It just hypercharges everything. Like you got the speed of ten men in one inhaler. Gonna pass. All right. Looking for a room? Not today. Then you came to the wrong place. The Diamond City radio signal comes in loud and clear. Cleo. Every weapon you see here could be the Mm hmm I'll take a look, sure. Each weapon tested on someone who deserved it. Stop music and all what, the latest something news. To take hey. the edge off. This is Diamond City Radio. Here now is Bob Crosby. What is it? Dear Fred Harris. Hotel I Rex. Hope you're buying. I'll hook you up. Even a girl with. Uh huh. I'll take a look. Sure. Murder and mayhem at a dis.
Since we talked, I'm feeling swell. Look at the two of us here in Sanctuary. Prepared for the future. Smash the... On hope we find me.
thing. Gotta splatter your grave! <laughs> Now here's the latest from the Commonwealth. Reports suggest a chem deal gone bad outside Diamond City. Details are scarce, but it sounds like whatever happened. Oh, No, you're not going anywhere. You see the last one we tried to pull in? With all the grenades? Oh, yeah, I was out doing my rounds. What about him? Well, Becca pulled him into the front of the Man, store. You picked the- Get a fucking pay for that!
Don't leave anything behind that might be useful. Don't you have a light in that sweet smoke back to your wrist? Reconnoiter of the Institute Com Scribe Halen. I was just thinking about you. Any luck with that tech? Here it is. Great. I'll get this documented and ready to send off. Here, tech will always be in demand. Once you're ready, come find me. Affirmative. That's what I like to hear. I mark the location on your map. Stay alert. Don't let Maxon's age fool you. He's a brilliant tactician and an experienced soldier. About time you showed your face. I take it that area's clear? There are some reasons. Affirmative, really. From good neighbor. Maybe you're not as worthless as I thought. Keep Commonwealth is a big place in need of some serious exterminating. Take a breather if you need it. When you're ready, just say the word. I'm ready. Better be. I'll mark the location on your map. See you when the target's clear. Diamond City Radio has been unable to confirm the extent of the theft, as Hancock has refused to officially comment. I'm not one to editorialize folks, but this... Well, it I just seems like a really life. bad idea. I think she looks... Laser weapons so if you're myself. out there sitting on a, a pile of shot and games leaves that good memorable neighbor, ozone I smell suggest behind. you keep quiet about it. Next up is Big Maybell, bringing the house down with a whole lot of shaking going on.
would be nice to fly away and leave the Commonwealth behind. But is there anything worth seeing out there? Dumb and ugly had a child. It'd be a super. Hail, Knight. Reporting for duty, sir. Let's do this. Yes, sir. This is the area. Lead on, sir. Hey there. I'd gladly lay down my life if it keeps humanity from repeating the apocalypse. Unless you like... Getting shot? Excuse me. You know those scents with the plastic faces? Disappearing act, huh? Something playing it. Phone jacket! Down. 
I've done this hundreds of times. You think you'll be any different? Something's out there. Over here! Over here! Oh! Standing down. Out looking for some cover. Turn up dead. <sighs> no sign of him now. Being Crosby, hell of a positive guy. Live from Diamond. I'm your host, Travis Lonely Miles. And this is really a holiday bringing us easy living. Good title. I just may steal that from my autobiography. Got it. I'm gonna be pissed if I get soaked. Terminal located. I'll get started.
Now that Dr. Lee's arrived. Attention, this is a reminder. All recovered technology must be presented immediately to Proctor Quinlan for evaluation. Yes, sir. Ah, wonderful. There's a small reward for your efforts. Let me know if we may utilize your assistance in the future. I found some technical documents for you. These aren't technical documents. I don't have time for games, soldier. Come back when you've decided to take your duties more seriously. The Institute and their technological abominations need to be... stopped at any Oh, sorry. Thought you might be one of those forged maniacs, but you don't have the burns. A group of them took over the old ironworks, and they'll shoot you just as soon as look at you. I'm with the Minutemen. Tell me what happened, and maybe I can help. Well, I'll be jiggered. Didn't really expect anybody to come. That bastard son of mine, Jake, snuck out in the middle of the night to join him. He grabbed my granddad's old sword. It's the closest thing I've got to an heirloom. If you really are with the Minutemen, and you want to help? Well, it would mean a lot to me if you could get that sword back. I'll find it. You're doing me a big favor, and I'll make it up to you as best as I can.
Why bother? That's just garbage. I toss it. You just heard Undecided by Ella Fitzgerald. Who? Got him. Uh -huh. Happening in the capital. Ah, 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 the airport, the Brotherhood continues to make waves. They've recently been seen cleaning up Fort Strong. Whether they planned to annex the location or just wanted to get rid of the neighbors, I couldn't say. Whatever their reasoning, I think we can all agree that fewer super mutants running around isn't a bad thing. Right Behind You Baby by Ray Smith is next. Someone should really explain the concept of personal space to that man. The terminal's got this locked. Kill him. You must be pretty strong to make it here. Who are you supposed to be? I'm Slag. And we are the Forged. And you, stranger, you're somebody with some guts. I like that. See, Jake? Here's someone who might actually be worth my time. Unlike you. But you're gonna kill me. But I brought everything you asked for. Stealing things from your family farm doesn't prove your strength, boy. Though this wonderful sword you brought does put me in the mood to give you one last chance to prove your worth. What do you say? Kill that prisoner and prove that you aren't completely useless. You said we'd be raiding outside the Commonwealth. These people aren't even a threat to us. Prove to me that you can kill! It's him or you. Oh god, what do I do? What do I do? Walk away, Jake. You don't have to do this. Please, let me go. What's You're right. Gonna be, Jake? I don't want to do this. I don't want to join the forge. I just want to go home. Last chance, Jake. If you don't kill the prisoner before I count to three, well, it's over. One. Help! Two. Three. <laughs> five. <laughs> Hi. Thanks a lot. I'm getting out of here. Wait, wait. Wait, I'm sorry. I, I, I messed up. Okay. I panicked. You got a can opener. 
What were you doing with those guys, anyway? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, well, just... I thought we'd be raiding outside of the Commonwealth, and that I if I joined them, I could provide for my family. I don't know. God, my dad's right. I'm such an idiot. Look, I, I should probably try to go home and make amends. I know I've got no right to ask, but I bet if you're there to explain, things with my dad would go easier. I bet if you bring my great-granddad's sword, he'll make it worth your while. He always tries to deal fair with people. I'll wait for you by the overpass near the farm. Hit a girl, would ya? Time's up, asshole. Find anything good on him. Is it just me? Or is this too easy? Nothing. What the? Boy, I told you that Abraham, if you ever showed your face here again, I... Is that my boy come home? What? Jake's back? Oh, thank God. Papa, please. I, I know I screwed up pretty big. I, I thought if I joined up, I could keep them from raiding our farm. I didn't. I don't want to hurt anybody. I don't care what you thought. I told you. Abraham Francis Finch, that's enough. Mama, if- Shut up, Jake. If I hear anything out of either of you, you'll both be peeling potatoes for the next year. I've watched you two go at it for years and tried to let you sort it out for yourselves. Abraham, your son is a grown man. And if you expect him to act like one, then you'd better stop treating him like a child. Jake, your father Why and I have been out folks? there. Let's and we know it can be dangerous. The help she needed. We just want to make sure you're prepared. There, it's over. And if I hear another word about it from either of you, so help me. She's right. Here's the caps we agreed. Diamond City Radio wouldn't Plus be possible help. without the help of some wonderful businesses here in town. Commonwealth weaponry. Thanks again for getting me out of it's here. It's a dangerous world out there. Protect yourself. Protect your family. Truly one of the greatest voices ever. Here's Nat King Cole with Orange Colored Sky.
So, Crocker went amateur butcher on poor Earl. Moments like this, I'm glad I'm not made of meat. You know what? Since good talking, news. Finch I'm Farm has joined well. us. Okay, good. Look at That's what I like to hear. Here in Sanctuary. Prepared for I've heard of another future. settlement that's in trouble. Here's the location. Get there as soon as you can. We promised them we'd be there when they needed us. Welcome to the Slav. We're the only Tarberry bog in the Commonwealth. It's pretty clever, making a Tarberry bog. I, when I came across you, I, I just... It looks like you've done well for yourselves. It's a good... What, what if it, we, maybe uh, we can make... Sure. I think it's a great idea. You really think so? We can. There's, mm -hmm. It'd be a great hope. I'll take care of those super mutants. I promise. Good. I didn't know what we were going to do. Hey. I'm glad you're here. We've been having... Tell me what's going on. They showed up in... Uh -huh. too Don't worry. I'll take care of those raiders for you. Thanks. It'll be a relief not to have to worry about them. Remind me to give you some pointers sometime. Oh man, come this back! Is be a piece of ah! Hold up.
dead already. We be in trouble. <laughs> Tell them. I was just sorry. <laughs> You know what I call a good day? Hi. So One can we stop worrying about paying stomach. tribute to those raiders? They won't be bothering you again. Thanks. It's good to know we can count on you guys when we're in trouble. If you're from out of town, be sure and visit Diamond City. It's safe, it's secure, and full of quality establishments like this. Commonwealth weapons. It's dangerous world out there. Protect yourself. Protect yourself. It's hard to imagine a time when carrying Operating a bag of cows is a positive thing, but there you go. What? Who's there? Someone there? Could it be a good boy? to die!
Those super mutants won't be bothering you again. I guess you were the right person for the job, huh? Thanks, friend. By the way, we've decided to support the Minutemen. We've got to help each other if we want things to get better. Cleared out that spot you sent me to, and set up a radio beacon there. That's great news. Once folks have some place to call their own, they'll be willing to help defend it. I took care of those super mutants. The settlers were relieved to not have them to worry about anymore. Thank God. Super mutants. Civilians just don't stand a chance against them. Remember that settlement that was asking for help? All safe and sound again. Good. This is how we're gonna take back the Commonwealth. One small victory at a time.
good news is something often in short supply in the Commonwealth, folks. So I'm happy to be able to deliver a little bit to you. If you were one of the folks worrying in hushed tones about the whereabouts of Diamond City's most effective detective, Nick Valentine is back in town, seemingly none the worse for wear. While details about what happened to him are scarce, I for one am just glad he's back. And in one piece. And if there's any more good news to share, you'll hear it first here on Diamond City Radio. And now for Tommy Allen's last song. What? Who's there? Stupid noises.
Have a minute? Got something on my mind. Of course. Anything you need. Anything I need, huh? I might take you up on that one day. After Tommy stuck me with you, I was expecting to hate your guts. Not only because you agreed to pick up me contract, but because I was waiting for you to order me around like hired help. Now, so far, you've been treating me like a friend. Hell, you've been damn near nice to me. Now, I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but your kindness is starting to make me wonder. If there's anything I learned in the combat zone, it was that nobody does things for other people without expecting something in return. Surviving the combat zone must have been rough. That's putting it nicely. I spent three years living at the combat zone. Smelled like puke and piss. But I called it home. I was making a few caps. Had me own bed to sleep in and three hot meals a day. Then the raiders took over the place. You know that lot. They aren't exactly what you'd call the gentle type. After they moved in, if you didn't keep looking over your shoulder, you were liable to get sucker punched or robbed. Or worse. Didn't take me long to learn that I had to put my hard-earned caps to good use. Buying friends was essential to making life easy. So, I guess I'm waiting for you to hand me a bill. You know what I mean? You don't owe me a thing. Now I'm having a real hard time believing that. I'll tell you what. Give me some time and I'll think of something I can do to repay you. I'm not a rich girl, but I'm sure we can agree on something. After all, what are friends for? When the hell did a ship get all the way up there? Who goes there? I did. You trying to light the whole Commonwealth with your something? <gasps> Yeah? Did a ship get all the way up there? Beware, soldier. Enemies lie in wait. Gustin. Smells this like is the captain speaking. We're taking on an Allied soldier. Clear the berth. Disable defenses. Make way. Midshipman, 
warning. Stand down. Stand down, I say. This soldier is a guest on our vessel. Defending. Please afford him all appropriate courtesies. Did a ship get all the way up there? Hey, Captain. None of your lip, Mr. Navigator. Have the crow's nest scan two points off the port bow. Jump to it. Our soldier has arrived. I trust the first mate didn't give you too hard a time. Been too long since we've seen the congressional army. Are, are you broken? Why the hell are you talking like that? The quaint vulgarity of the common soldier. It warms the circuits. This is the pride of our Navy, the USS Constitution. As her commander, it is my privilege to enforce a certain measure of decorum amongst my crew. Your lookout told me to come up here. Why? I confess, we need your assistance. You visit this fine vessel in trying times. He calmed these long years on her airy perch. Damn you, Weatherby Savings alone! I spit at you. A sad state of affairs for such a historic ship. Frankly, I can't believe this hunk of wood is still in one piece. On that, we are in agreement. What vexes me most is my... Enough pleasantries. The Constitution has systems that need repairs to carry out its mission. If I help you... I expect part of the payment up front. What a singular request! Were you in the Navy, I would remind you of your oath. But, as a soldier, I will authorize a performance bonus payable immediately. Consult with the ship's person. Consult with the bosun and Mr. Navigator. They will relay your instructions. Dismissed the incredibly lads. Scavengers approach. Soldier, man the cannons. Kill them only as a last resort. A few warning shots usually suffice to see it that rabble off. The cannons are ready! Fire at Broadside them, soldier! Did a ship get all the way up there? Maybe we should rest here. The place is built like a fortress. Up next, Frankie Carl and Marjorie. Hey, Captain. I'll have none of your lip, Mr. Navigator. Have the crow's nest scan two points off the port bow. Jump to it. Aye, Captain. Our soldier has arrived. I trust the first mate didn't give you too hard a time. Thanks for calling him off me. The scans? I am Captain Irons. You visit this fine... That's quite a predicament. Well, at least you've given us something to laugh at for a while. What vexes me most is my inability to assist in enough pleasantry. If I help you... What a singular... Re I will authorize a performance... I'll have none of your lip, Mr. Navigator. Have the crow's nest scan two points off the port bow. Jump to it. Aye. Look lively, soldier. Man the cannons. Kill them all as a last resort. A few warning Bye. shots usually suffice to scare that rabbit off. The cannons are ready. And the turrets. Show them what we're made of.
Citizens, you may now resume your normal activities. Your very presence does this humble unit a great honor. My programming would find it amiss if I did not also interject. Long live the captain! You certainly have pep. Much obliged for the compliment. But on to the mission of the day. Our last marine expedition valiantly returned with much needed supplies, including... Replacement power cables, sir. Alas, with my severe lack of appendages, I find myself unequal to the task of repairing the cables myself. I'll get right on it. My anxiety emulators are lightning by the microsecond. Once you have resolved this matter, I beseech you to return to me to accept my undying gratitude. Don't bother. That's just garbage. Don't toss it. Warning. Overdue for maintenance. Assessment will commence after this unit has completed scheduled duties. You robots do a good job of defending your ship. Proclamation one. Defend the Constitution by any means necessary. Guidance system offline. Multiple errors diagnosed. First error. Guidance chip stolen. This unit requires its return. I can help. Where is it? Stolen by human scavengers. Reclaim ship at Scavenger's Forward Recon Station. Captain has approved a bounty for its return. Lethal force is prohibited unless absolutely necessary. Aft dinghy unlocked and available for your use, sir. Constitution's veins again. Her systems long starved, forgot her life. <laughs> A hearty congratulation. Huzzah! However, this has brought to light further failures in our power grid. The power relay, to my shame, I previously complained about is fluctuating wildly. Don't worry, I'll get you up and running. Only for you, sir. Power relay coils are common enough, but. Might I recommend checking the local shopkeeps? Surely, they would be of some assistance. Fair winds and following seas. All is well. Hey, bosun. Power flows far and steady. I would applaud you, but alas, looking on. Due to my lack of clapping instruments. But huzzah, sir! Huzzah! Well, you're very welcome, Bosun. You are too kind. 
I require no further assistance. But our Mr. Navigator is also beset by troubles. Scuttle buddies, our guidance system is on our last legs. If you've not already, speak to him. Mm -hmm. All is well. Defending the Constitution. How in the hell did a ship get all the way up there? Oh, Bunker Hill. I heard you can get anything from these fellas. We could hold out pretty well in a spot like this. Don't shoot! Those assholes didn't attack the ship on our orders. They weren't trying to frag ya anyhow. They just wanted to kill the frickin' robots. So some of your guys almost got me killed. We told those crazy assholes not to attack. It's not our fault, all right? When they saw you waltz right into the Constitution, they just went ballistic. How did you get aboard, anyway? We thought you were gonna get cratered for sure. He knew I was an army veteran, so he let me on the ship. Army? Isn't that some old-world mumbo-jumbo? Whatever. So, you got to see the inside, huh? All that salvage. The real motherload. Just waiting to be stripped and sold. If you say so. So you talked with a tin can. What do you have to say? Ironside says you stole a guidance chip. He wants it back. His guidance chip, right. You know what he needs it for, his rockets. The huge goddamn rockets on the side of his boat. He's nuts. I'm sure there's a good reason he needs them. You seriously want to help that idiot bolts for brains? Screw that robot and come work with us. There's dozens more of us nearby. It's only a matter of time before we come out on top. I'm not splitting my share with him. You holding out on us, Davies? You got some magical way in there? This guy's got a free ticket aboard, so shut up. Help us destroy that freaking tin can once and for all. Another no deal. I'm with Ironsides. You're siding with that daft robot? Then screw you, asshole. You're lucky we don't gun you down. Travis Lonely Miles here, with the latest news update from hey, the Commonwealth. I don't see anyone's this name one on it. Sounds heavy. The Green Tech Building, long known as a haven for gunner mercenaries, was recently assaulted by an unknown group. How in the hell did a ship get all the way up there? From what I understand, there aren't any gunners left to tell the tale. If that's true, it's a little unsettling. Those guys meant business. There are rumors circulating that the Institute was somehow involved. Now I know, they come up every time something bad or unexplained happens. Oh, are you kidding me? It stinks in But in this case, I, even I have to admit, it's hard to not suspect they were involved. Morning. Don't jump the conclusion, but keep your wits about you, folks. And don't worry. At this time, there's no reason to suspect our fair city is in danger. So you just sit back and enjoy some quality music. How in the hell did a Courtesy ship get all the way up there? Radio. They built this place up to protect something. We need to find out what it is. Louis Jordan is next with an upbeat Aye, to soldier. Chip well, recovered. Dispensing bounty. Diagnostics report. One error remaining. Guidance radar's transmitter is not functional. Requires replacement. Happy to help you out. Again. Soldier's happiness is irrelevant. 
Acquire Poseidon radar transmitter at specified map coordinates. Further bounty will be dispensed upon completion, sir. Protect. And serve. How in the hell did a ship get all the way up there? stench. Warning. Overdue for maintenance. Patrolling. How 
in the hell did a sh nice spot for a last stand? All is well. Maintaining present call. Hey, navigator. Ahoy, soldier. Guidance system fully functioning. Bounty dispensed. It is required. You commence dialogue with the captain, sir. Hey, Captain. You've been of service to our noble vessel. I am pleased you recovered the guidance chip without bloodshed. Though the scavengers have caused us grievous injury, our goals must be nobler than base revenge. I figured a little theft was better than a lot of blood. They seek to impugn the honor of the military. Truly, there is no depth they will not sink to. I find I must reward your considerable efforts with the final labor. We stand but a hair's breadth away from embarking on our sacred mission. I'm always happy to help. I would expect nothing less. The ship requires turbo pump bearings from a nearby factory. It will undoubtedly be a dangerous mission, but I have faith you will succeed. That was Billy Ward and the Dominoes. <laughs> now here's the latest from the cover. <sighs> Reports suggest a chem deal gone bad outside Diamond City. Details are scarce, but it sounds like whatever happened, they were pretty violent. If we're able to verify any further details of this story, we'll pass them on to you, listeners. Just another day in the comic huh, folks? Warren Smith. Who's there? Playing games with me, huh? Over here! Ain't personal, just you or me! Hmm? Who's there? Get some! How in the hell did a ship get all the way up there? Wow. 
Warning. Overdue for maintenance. It's an honor to crew such a story. That's all. How in the hell did a sh we could hold out pretty well in a spot like this? Hey, Captain. Trim the power on the starboard bow. Steady as she goes, Mr. Navigator. Luck willing at long last we'll set sail. And our hero of the hours to thank. You've earned How a double share, sir. Well done. All the way up there. My pleasure. You are truly worthy, sir, of witnessing our maiden voyage. Our twin NX-42 rockets will alight and then moor us from this dreaded savings and loan. The Constitution will launch into the heavens and after, gently land in the ocean. Then we take our rightful place as defenders of the Atlantic. That's ambitious. As they say, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Mr. Navigator, put her through her paces. We need to... Those motherless curs! Prepare to broadside! Hey, Captain. Gods be good, the scavenger assault has been broken. Not one of those scallywags stepped foot on our vessel. All hands, prepare ship for launch. Congratulations, Captain. There is one thing. We need power from the auxiliary generator to commence our voyage. I fear I must call upon you one last time. Consider it done. I admire your pluck. Here is your amply deserved reward. Godspeed to you, sir. Attention, citizens. You may now resume your normal activity. Warning. Overdue for maintenance. All is well. Defending the Constitution. How in the hell did a ship get all the way up there?
Apollo? Excellent. Commencing final countdown. Three. Enjoyed that last number. Here's the latest word on what's happening in the Commonwealth, folks. Yes. Sitting quietly at the airport, the Brotherhood continues to make way. They've recently been seen cleaning up Fort Strong. The world is big and strong. Nice very Whether they plan to annex the location or just wanted to get rid of the neighbors, I couldn't say. Hey. Hmm? Whatever their Have reason, I think we can all agree that fewer super mutants running around is trying to lock the whole There's no getting away from Ray Smith. Here's right behind you, baby. Find the love. I'll go back. If we're looking for some action, I'm betting we'll find it here. We sell everything. Give packs, ammunition, out. I've got a few minutes to browse. Oh, goody.
claw eggs. A dozen, maybe more. Smashed to bits. Except this one. No wonder they wouldn't tell us what was in that case. If I'd known, I would have personally told the gunner bosses in their glorified liquor cabinet Wellingham to take those Diamond City caps and stuff them. I guess we know why that death claw tracked us all the way from Redwood. Yeah. <laughs> we stole our damn kids. Maybe if we just return the eggs. Oh, hey, Mama. You looking for this? Truce? Truce. Crosby, hell of a positive guy. <laughs> Folks, I, I'd, hey, I'd like to take a moment for something a little more personal than usual. As I'm sure you know all too well, I haven't always been the best at this job. Hey, let's face it. I've been pretty terrible. You got the memory Thanks card to the efforts up? of a few of my oh, friends. You're not Irma. I've decided to change how <coughs> I live. Good neighbors, crazy. Dad's murder is worse. Like Sometimes you just got to escape a little to make it through the, the day. Dweller for lending me a hand. I hear you. It's a mess out there. It's rough in the best of days. But, but now, All you right. ever listen to the Silver Shroud? <laughs> That's what we need. No matter how bleak things got, he saved the day. Get it on back to the My family and I used to listen to every new episode. You mean when they first aired? How? The last broadcast was hundreds of years ago. I was in cryogenic storage for a long time. I only just woke up. Oh man, that's amazing! You're just like Mr. Abominable from episode 83. Wasn't he... a caveman? Yeah, that's the one. They found him in an iceberg off the harbor. Boy, if you just woke up. The world these days must take some getting used to. It seems like people are finally rebuilding and recovering from the nuclear war. Maybe in some parts, like Diamond City, but over here, we got a ways to go. I got a question for you. What if the Silver Shroud was real, with his black trench coat and gleaming silver submachine gun? I got a plan to bring him to life, so we can fight bad guys and give the rest of us a symbol of something better. What plan? I've built my own custom machine gun. Even better than the one in the show. But to make this work, I still need the most important piece. 
The genuine silver shroud costume herself. And they actually got one here in Boston. They made it for the TV show. Will you help? I might do it, if you make it worth my while. When you're done, I got a reward all squared away. Will you just help me out? I'll get the costume for you. You're gonna do this? For real? Before the bombs fell, they were filming the Silver Shroud pilot over at Hubris Comics. So that's where you'll find it. You're the best. Now you're just showing off.
out in the name. Heard what you did. the streets of Boston. One man lurks in the shadows, shielding the innocent, judging the guilty. I got your costume, Kev. And some other goodies you might like. There she is. Pretty as the posters. In the the Silver Shroud Mr. costume herself. In memorabilia, too? You're something else. Together Jasmine. with my gun, everything's Camomilla. all set. Bane. Here you go. And After all see. these years, the Silver Shroud is dead. born again. Of but there's just one problem. I'm just He's not Silver Shroud material. Shroud. I could be I Brett Reinhardt or, or slug. his butler, Jarvie Blake, fever, but the Shroud suffer. is strong, capable. Mistress of Mystery Snow, I'm... Come on, right. don't sell yourself but short. I got a better idea who should wear it. You up we for being the Silver the Shroud? You already got your own friend. origin story and everything. <laughs> what no, with the Cryer Vault and all. The Shroud stumbled. If I go along with this, maneuvered. I could use a little extra. A if it'll get you to help, sure. I, I, I may be able to scrounge up a couple of things. Looks like I get to be the Shroud. The costume and gun are yours. Attention. So you patrol good neighbor's streets, and I'll call in any crimes on my radio station. Here's some calling cards, I guess. When you dispatch justice, leave them behind. That way, everyone knows to silk... Ken. I'll call in any bad guys. Hmm. It would seem that our leaving the scene of the Scale slaughter was terribly timed. Incurring the wrath of Boston's finest is an unfortunate and unexpected annoyance. I see. Unexpected Sadly, by us. A good neighbor that will take long. But perhaps not by Fat Fay. Ah, I'm starting to to see into his twisted plan. Ah, damn this gunshot. Look, heroes, we can clear this up. Come out now, unarmed. I'll see that you two get the best lawyers in the city. Calling all Silver Shroud fans. A once-in-a-lifetime announcement. The Silver Shroud returns, and he's gonna clean up the streets. Everyone heard how Wayne Delancey m murdered Miss Selmy and her kid over a few lousy caps. Death is coming what for the? you, Wayne. <laughs> the streets of Boston, one man lurks in the shadows, shielding the innocent, judging the guilty. That guardian is the... Friend of the show, Jerry, is here. Is this thing on? Hello? Hello? It's on. Holy scamoli, it ain't true, is it? You ripped off that We're recording it here. Every weapon you see here oh, could man. be the difference between... I'll take a look, sure. Murder and mayhem at a discount. Great, great. The Silver Shroud's dispatched justice already. Miss Selmy has been avenged. Shit, the Shroud off Wayne? Wait, so this guy's actually for real? Oh, you better believe it. So, Jerry, go on. Tell the listeners about what we're talking about. Right. So, AJ, you know the chem dealer by Bobby's. He's doing good for himself. Says he's got a whole new market. Kids. Even with his garbage chems, he's just raking in the caps. You hear that? Sounds like the Silver Shroud has another bad guy to deal with. Uh, why? He ain't the only the Shroud guy. <laughs> no. He's gonna do something. AJ's selling the kids. His chems have to kill me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't get it. You can't let AJ kill kids.
of Boston, one man lurks in the shadows, shielding the innocent, judging the guilty. That guardian is the Silver Shroud. Today's episode, Into the Robot. The Silver Shroud's bringing justice to good neighbor. You bad guys better look out. And now, a special update. The villainous assassin Kendra was recently spotted at the third rail. The same Kendra who bombed little Joe Shack and killed four innocent drifters. If you want to see the Silver Shroud in action, stay Who's near Whitechapel the Charlie. She's got the Shroud's sure to interrogate him to find the evildoer's whereabouts. Like Galaxy! News! <laughs> Radio! When evil walks the streets of Boston, Charlie's one man lurks in the shadows, shielding the innocent, judging the guilty. That, that guardian is the Silver Shroud. <laughs> Today's episode, the guest unmasked. Like one of them wankers from the posters. What you wearing that for? Dangling over a pit of fire. Reminds me of our adventure against one to be tried for me. People associated with her have a habit of being Indeed, found face down in a but ditch. You're set on meeting her, but a Muppet for a fee to can be arranged. The mechanist. Can you spare a few details on her at least? No on the house. You got that finesse to be an assassin. Can you a murderer? A very skilled murderer. Listen, mate, Only the combat I scan shows you know what you're about. Save your camps by a log and instead. Here's your money. Where is she? He's still going through, is this? She's got a flat outside the neighborhood. Look out for the blighter she's got with her. Nasty piece of business, yeah. Good luck. And by the way, you're not fooling anyone with that cheap getup. You're as human as the rest of us. Stalwart Shroud, glad Skyward Still looking for work, McCready? Our newfound friend, the head of the bodiless bot. And it would seem Everything's he's negotiable. Would you take 200? You have a hard bargain. You just bought yourself an extra gun. All right, hey, boss. Mechanist, you robot wannabe. Remember me? No. Hi. I didn't to head think back so. Out? That's the Ready. problem. Good. You then let's get me. moving. I got it and love me. You didn't love any of us, you selfish jump out. Now oh, it's time to pay. Fools, all of you! Attack my robot children! Destroy these interlopers! Another special update. No, it wasn't Bobby No Nose who offed AJ and his goons. It was the Silver Shroud. See his calling card if you don't believe me. Now's our time, listeners. Justice is coming to good neighbor. You'll see. Galaxy! When evil walks the streets of Boston, one man lurks in the shadows, shielding the innocent, judging the guilty. That guardian is the Silver Shroud. Today's episode, a slaying in Scully Square. <laughs> Just a Dallas alley. Well, well, well. Someone got lost on the wrong side of the tracks. <laughs> wrong side of the tracks. I, I'm just needing a friend. No friends, yours are perhaps I'll just call him. Now if if you'll excuse me. Not so fast, fancy pants. Your wallet and that snazzy briefcase you're carrying. Hand them over. Now. What? Someone there? You are so dead. I most certainly will not. Do you have any idea who? No, jeez, no ways. Why'd you go and do that? Because he could have made us, that's why. You want to spend another stretch in the pokey? Yeah. I'll give you what's in this fancy case. Made a big mistake, rookie. Nothing. Papers, no cash. It's worthless. Driver's license. 
Oh man, we done it this time. You know who this is? We just missed it, Mayor Murphy. What? The Mayor Murphy? What the place was he doing up here? Oh, that up in Scully Square. A mystery, to be sure. Who said that? Show yourself. You have murdered a man in cold blood. Justice must be served. It's the Silver Shroud! Let's get out of here! I ain't afraid of the Silver Shroud. You hear me? Come out and I'll do you like I did the mayor. Death has come for you, evildoer. And I am its shroud. done. Or is it? What brought you to Scully Square, Mayor Murphy? A journey that left you dead and Boston leaderless. Why venture? Something's ghost in us. Another headliner. Hancock seeks a special meeting with our hero, the Silver Shroud. Whatever it's about, be careful, Shroud. We're all with you. Galaxy News Radio. When evil walks the streets of Boston, one man lurks in the shadows, shielding the innocent, judging the guilty. That guardian is the Silver You ask me, freedom's always worth fighting. So, you ready to get this show on the road? Let's do it. Done. Hey. What? Playing dress up is fun and all, but you walked into something a whole lot bigger. Those lowlifes you've been taking out for Kenny Boy, they all belong to the same asshole. And that asshole's gonna want some good old-fashioned revenge. You dig? Thanks for the warning. You know, it would be a shame if he ended you. His name's Sinjin. He's taken two-bit raider outfits and made them... scary. Small fish now, but if left alone. I happen to know where some of his other boys are. Smiling Kate operates outside of Bunker Hill. And Northy's got a pad over at Prospect Hill. You take them out. And maybe we can find out where the big guy himself is stashed. Good neighbor'd rest a whole lot easier with him out of the picture. I'm up for some community service. <laughs> you know you're all right. You take care of Sinjin, and I'm inclined to show some gratitude. You feel me? World is bigger than Strong New. Strong getting hungry. Want someone to eat. I get the good neighbor lifestyle ain't for everyone, but it beats the alternatives. 
You know what? Since we talked, I'm feeling swell. Look at the two of us here in sec. Bunker Hill pays off the raiders instead of just shooting them. Where's this? They dug in deep here. So glad you could all come out and play. And boy, do we. <laughs> Silver Shroud update. In case you missed it, Kendra's reign of terror is over. She won't be. What? Oh God! What's happening? On your knees, dirtbag. What? What are you doing? What? Ah! Oh, it's you, Sinjin. Oh, all sugar. clear. I told Kent all that hero stuff was going to get you both this killed. This is the Shroud's headquarters. Oh, God. So you must be the God. Silver Shroud's little friend. Calm yeah. yourself. The Shroud is here to help. Please, stop. Do you want to see your friend That's alive, what got Shroud. Kent into trouble in the first place. A, a dozen Hospital. raiders barged Don't in and Shroud. snatched him. Then they took him away. They left you a message. Ah. Just ah. listen to Kent's oh radio God. station. Do it, it Do keeps it. playing it over uh, and over again. Tick-tock, Shroud. Don't keep me waiting. We got business that needs finishing. Here's a Silver Shroud update. In case you missed it, Kendra's reign of terror is over. She won't be... What? Nice bit, boy. Oh, God! What's happening? On your knees, dirtbag. Who'd you...
Say it again. I'm gonna tell you fucking throw it out! So you got a ride of choice? I'm usually a Mentat school myself. Makes me feel intellectual. Hey, job's done. Sinjin's dead. So down goes the big bad Sinjin. We get to walk that tightrope of freedom one more day. Take this for the effort. The world's better without him. And the future looks a little brighter. Gutter's been running a little too red lately. You keep them clean. You're welcome back anytime.
I didn't say you were better. I see you now. Threat to you. Just curious. <laughs> curious cat gets murdered, but no fear. No murder. No way, Shen. None of Captain Zhao. Why are you here? War is over. Long over. And my Yang Zi holds no Bao. No treasure. Nothing for you to plunder. Just trying to figure out who you are. No plundering, I swear. Mm. Pirate or raider would have attacked by now. I accept your gusher as truth. Your arrival is good Xing Yun for me. I need help, you see. Yang Zi is not... Uh, see worthy. You will help me fix her? I'm at your disposal. Ha! <laughs> yes! Thank you! Yes, yes, my friend. But first problem. Yang Zi has no power. If we get reactor working, probably enough. There is damage to a... Uh, a dampening coil. Bad damage. Need new coil. I have information. Intelligence uh, from wartime. Dampening coils are at a facility called uh, Saugus Ironworks. What's in it for me? Money. Shenjin. American money. From before. Still worth something, no? Worthless to me, An Yangzi. That's all you've got? Wealth is like dung. Useful only when spread. I have some bottle caps, too. New money for your new burned America. They are yours as well. I'm going to need more than that. You forced me to make ultimate decision. Sad decision. Maybe Yi Han, my sword. Sharp, wondrous Jen. Sword of Chinese officer. It is yours. If you help me. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll get them for you. I am not your captain. Zhao will do. You go. Get the dampening coil. I will work on repairing the bridge control systems. Much Gongzuo. You're gonna pick up a serious blow sticking around here.
know what? Since we talked, I'm feeling swell. Look hey. at the two of us. We're looking Here a bit exactly. on edge. Prepared for the That future. was all I had. Gotcha. You remind me of a young man I used to know. Never looking for hey, people, Piper. Head my way? It. Sure. Let's go. Will do. Taking up with Little Miss Reporter, huh? I'm jealous. I can't tell if that's a compliment or a pickup line or both, so I think we're just gonna go. Dumpling coil? Ah! Yoshio! Yoshio! Now, to get nuclear fuel. I'm ready. The next step seems simple. But do not be deceived. Two hundred years ago, I launched all of Yangtze's high-yield nuclear missiles. As ordered. For two hundred years, I have lived with that guilt. That shame. So much fire. Such bay, but one missile failed to launch. You must go down. Remove the warhead, then bring it to me. I'm on it. I admire your spirit. While you are getting warhead, I will prepare the reactor. But now I must warn you. There is danger. We shall. Old crew. Still down there. Not okay like their captain. Worse. They do not harm me. But they will kill you. I... I cannot kill them. Still, 
They are my crew. My family. Jaren. All of us. But you must do what you must do. Here is the warhead. No difficulty with the warhead, I trust. I'm alive, aren't I? Be resolved, and the thing is done. Now, here is what you must do. Head down to the reactor. Take dampening coil and warhead with you. First, insert the dampening coil. Carefully, Xiaoxin. Then, put warhead into the reactor. As you do that, I monitor power levels from the control room. Do not put Warhead in first. Do that? Si Wang. Death for you and me both. Beautiful Yangzi would hold together, but we did it. Here, payment Zhao promised you. Plus, to show my thanks, I give you these uh, uh, transponders. Each one acts as a homing signal for missile I can fire from my Yangzi. Only small, tactical news. But you should still get as far away as possible. Throw transponder like a grenade to activate it. Then wait for Bao Zhang. Kabu. I wish you a safe journey. Many thanks. I look forward to seeing my Chung Guo soon. Soon I will set sail. You should get ashore. Farewell, American. I must admit, I have met worse capitalists.
wheat. I think we found a new frontier of fowl. You see that? Damn it! Come in! I know you're listening on the other end. Where is she? Where is my daughter? Kenji, please. You've been at this for hours. Stop. You need sleep. She's out there.
proud to be serving under Elder Maxon. I had Scribe Halen. I was just thinking ways. about you. Any luck with that tech? Here it is. Good. I was hoping you'd bring it back safely. Here, I'll always want more tech, so believe me, I'll never run short of missions. When you're ready for more, just say the word. Can't do it right now. Understood. You know where to find me when you're ready. Don't you have some trash to hunt down? Yes. Hey, General. General. 